Hello, everybody. We are live. Hello, hello, hello. What's going Hi. on, everybody? What's up, everybody? Hey, what's going on? Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We got to pull. Uh, uh, I look okay. at <laughs> Okay, so guys, thank you very much for joining us tonight. We are a lady and the gentleman. And as you can see, we have our favorite guys in the his house tonight. That's a 1980s thing, the his house, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Uncommon Sense in the house. What's going on, y'all? We have King Nappy, a.k.a. Mike, in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Mr. Chai Sense in the house, all the way from Chicago. <laughs> Chai Sense. Oh, my God. Yep. <laughs> and of course, you Shout guys know me. Out. I am Pam from the Pam Fam. Guys, we are so, so happy y'all chose to join us tonight as we mm. present to you five of our favorite indie houses, and they just all happen to be black. <laughs> what? For sure. How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> we buy black around these parts, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, guys, let's see who we got up in the house. We have Latanya Gibson. Hey, hey Latanya. Hey, Latanya. All right, we got Miss Marilyn. Hey, Marilyn. Hey, Marilyn. Marilyn in the house. <laughs> yes. We've got the old factory zone. Hey. What's going on, Chris? Hey, how you doing? What's good with you, bro? We've got he cool Rich Mitch. What's up, Rich hey, Mitch? Hey. I'm Rich Mitch. He from he from across the pond, so like I don't oh, know what time it is there. You, yeah. So he hanging yeah. with us. Yes. Marilyn said hey back to you. <laughs> <laughs> And let's see here. We've got Mighty Strong. Hey, Mighty hey. Strong. Let's see here. Anyone else we've got in here that... Oh, look. Hey, Sopranetta, how you doing? Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> we've also got... He's also across the pond. All right. Yes, we've got <laughs> Filmy Zone. What's going on, Filmy? And Nadia. Hi, beautiful. Hey, Nadia. Hey. <laughs> let's see here. Nadia. We. Oh, Wow. We've got, be I thought I saw Beauty Flash in here. There we go. Hey. Hey, Beauty Flash. <laughs> Flash. Yes. <laughs> We've got Allison in the what house. Up, Allison. Yes. What's good? What's yes. good? Allison. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you. Full house, full house. Look who's here, y'all. Yeah. Superstar herself. Bam. Mm. Hey, what's up, hey. Tara? Hey. <laughs> what's up, baby? Hi, Tara. <laughs> Okay, I love her and, videos. Her, her video camera quality is just superb. Yes, it, it is. is. It is. Awesome videos. And we've also got, we've got Inanimate Insanity Season 2. This is What's my second on? time seeing you. Hi. What's going on? How, How you, you doing? doing? We've got Courtney in the house. What's up, Courtney? Yep, Courtney. Ooh, <laughs> yay! Got your cupcake. <laughs> yes. Hey, Tosh. What's up, Tosh? Hey, Tosh. Guys, Tosh and I were talking yesterday. As I was actually typing up the me the message to send to y'all yesterday, she mm -hmm. sent me a message. Pam, you know, you should do some uh, some collaborations with some guys. I was like, guess what I'm doing right now? <laughs> Great man. <laughs> we in here. Yes. We've got Marsha. Hi, What's Marcia? up, Marsha? How you doing? <laughs> and we've got Leon Bennett. What's going on, Hi, on Leon. Leon Bennett? Leon. That's my bro right there. All right. That's your Friend? brother? Well, well, brother in spirit. Oh, okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We've also got our friend JC. Hi, JC. What up, JC? JC. Here's Dawn. Hi, Bougie. What's up, Dawn? Oh, my goodness. This is awesome, guys. We've got 75 people in the house already. We've got wow. Teresa. Yes. Hey, Teresa. What's up, Teresa? <laughs> Teresa has an excellent nose. That's all I got to say. I got to put my wallet away when I'm talking to her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you yeah. said, did you guys hear the news on why police officers have been charged with the murder? No, I stay away from the news all day today. I wanted to keep my zen in one place. I, yeah. I find myself doing that. I, I'm, yeah. I, I legit am so unplugged. Um, yeah. I had to have one of my friends like explain something that was going on in the news. And, and I've, I've just been so disconnected from it. It's, it's the best thing, I feel. Especially yeah, I had me. to disconnect for a little bit myself. I, it was just too heavy, you know? Yeah. 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 We've got Bel Air Sense in the house. <laughs> what up, Bel Air? That's Vic. Mm -hmm. What's going on, Vic? <laughs> um, okay, Marilyn says that your chat live is not giving you numbers, Mike. You have zero numbers. 
So we need to figure out what's wrong with that because it should be, make sure that you're, um, yeah, everybody's checked on. So it should have your numbers. Yeah. Hey, Cassandra. Hey, Cassandra. A sophisticated lady in the house. What's going on, Miss yes, Sophisticated? Yes, yes, I am so thankful. I think we got everybody, guys. Yes, yeah. they're just saying hi to everybody else. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Shout out. Nice to have you all here. Yep. So, Chai, I think you're new to a lot of folks in here. Tell okay. us a little bit about yourself. Um, again, from Chicago, um, like <laughs> like uncommon. Um, <laughs> let's see. I've been in the fragrance. I guess I've been into fragrances for a long time. I've been actually collecting for I would say about eight years okay. wow. so i'm i've been i think at the highest i've had close to 500 fragrances i think i'm close to there now <laughs> so uh my wife might have a problem with that <laughs> but um yeah no i've i've just been collecting been in the fragrance scene for a while honestly uh the person that really got me into doing youtube was amina we had a conversation oh. Awesome. Yep, we had a we had a conversation on uh, on Instagram, and she said you have to do it. So, <laughs> like, okay, like Amina. if yeah, Amina speak, you got to do it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I had to. You know, she was like, "If I don't see you on there, so December first was my first video." <laughs> Guys, yeah. go watch his video. He his videos. He has a lot. I I was binge watching when I first saw him. It was yeah. on uh, Lulu's channel. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I started binge watching and I'm like, okay. And I had like this huge notebook. So I just chucked the notebook and I just started opening up carts. <laughs> and I'm like, nah, I, I can't, I can't. Uh -uh, nope. <laughs> he has an amazing collection. I'm going to tell y'all yeah. this. He has, again, I don't know what it is with Amina fragrance journey aka robert and shot sense they be like coming for my crown so like when i'm around them i have a hard time claiming uncommon sense because he come with stuff you ain't never heard never of. heard of wow. like yeah. never ever yeah. <laughs> so he has an amazing collection yeah. i binge watch his videos as well so you guys check him out check Please him out do. thank you we've also sure. got i saw ruth gifted hands i What's think up, I ruth? Saw her. hey ruth yes What's up, and ruth? so um, some of you may or may not know Mike, who is AKA King Nappy, AKA Naps and Nurture, okay? Um, because he took a little hiatus earlier this year to e. get his mind cleared and to prepare for the arrival of his beautiful girls, his twin e. girls. Yes. So Mike, if yeah. you wouldn't mind sharing, because maybe some folks don't know you. Uh, my name is Mike, AKA King Nappy. Uh, my channel is Naps and Nurture, and a PPS A N D N U R T U R E. Head on over and subscribe. Uh, my channel was originally a vegan channel. I did a lot of recipes. I did a lot of uh, did a lot of uh, movie reviews, game reviews, and I even uh, started a podcast on my channel. I got into the fragrance community last year around August. Uh, I've always been into fragrances, but to hit it as hard as I did last year, meeting uh, one of the people that I met. And like instantly connected with was on Common Sense and Cedric uh, from Reviews from the Six. Yep. Okay. Met up with them, loved them. That's how I met Dr. Rose. And from Rose, that's how I met Pam Fam. And it's just been growing. It's a it's it's a dope community. It's one of the yes. most interactive community and hand hands-on communities that I've ever been a part of. And I can honestly say that this community has blessed me and my wife and my children personally. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had people who just simply just gave to us uh, perfumes with Pat. Lovely mm -hmm. person, beautiful personality. Uh, and she just gave to us, you know what I mean? Had a raffle going and she saw me and my wife entered and people just blessed us. This community is dope and I'm, I'm definitely proud to be a part of it. Amen. Amen. Yeah, well, don't forget to tell the folks that you recently hit 1K. Cause that Yay! recently happened too. <laughs> nice. He did a short boys. video, like that's the shortest one kid video I've seen. Because yeah. <laughs> people, people like they be dragging it out. It's just like just get to it, you know. Yeah, stop man. talking about me, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so we got our family in the house, guys. Jay's in the house. What's up, Jay Holloway? What up, Jay? 
And we've also got Jordan Anderson. She popped up in nope. the house. Hey, Hi, Jordan. Jordan. And I think that is everyone else that we caught. We I think we're caught up now. Oh, we look who's Yvonne here. Curtis. <laughs> and Yvonne 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 Curtis. Yes. yes. <laughs> Everyone, yes. Okay, so guys, I, we are you. excited again. We are a lady and the gentleman. And what I need for you guys to do, the guys introduce themselves. If you don't know who Uncommon Sense is, he's about to let you know who he's about. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? I am uh, Uncommon Sense, a.k.a. Dre, a.k.a. the homie from around the way. Um, <laughs> I do some of everything on my channel now. I started with fragrance, and of course, a part of my channel is going to be fashion, style, uh, mental health, and well-being. And of course, you know, we try to, we try to keep our... I skin together too, so um, I do some of all of that. And if you guys are into that type of content, you can check out Uncommon Sense, and I'm certain you'll find you something that you absolutely love. Yes. I've been doing YouTube, quote unquote, seriously for about two and a half years now. And again, like like Mike said, it's it's when it happens, it happens. You know what I mean? Like it happened uh, so quick. It, it like it happened in less than a year, roughly. And I got connected to some of the most endearing and original people that I've ever met. Like everybody that I've met in the fragrance and YouTube community has been a treasure to my heart. And I'm just yes. very thankful to be connected to each and every one of y'all. So mm -hmm. I am thankful for you guys watching, commenting, and all of those beautiful things. And I wouldn't be able to do what I do without you guys. So I'm just very, very grateful to have you all here and all the support you give to uh to all of us quite honest so and of course you know i'm gonna do a fragrance review fragrances is like one of my first loves right along with fashion so hmm. that's that and i see yes. nika marks in the chat what's up uh -oh, nika? Uh -oh. hey. <laughs> hey, 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 my guy and he said stuff yes guys i know he mentioned in fashion and he just kind of let it roll off his tongue right but he's seriously a designer Okay. Yes, I am a designer. Well, he is. Thank you for refocusing on that. Thank you, Pam. <laughs> Come hold me accountable. <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah, I'm doing a fashion blah, blah, blah. No, he's to be a, modest. He's a designer for real, for real. Textiles. Yes. He is a designer. A little, little bit of like, something over here. Like to just, oh, you know, I like to mix a little bit of oil and a little bit of cream and stuff. No, Erica does skin and lotions. And mm -hmm. Mike, Mike does tea. Mm -hmm. And he's in the process of getting his uh, his fragrance off the ground. Not tea, coffee. Yes, coffee, coffee. Very nice. He loves coffee over here. Okay, <laughs> and of course, Dre designs clothing and shoes. Yes. So, and just in case y'all didn't know, we found out tonight. So I'm gonna put him on the spot. Chai does workouts. Yes, <laughs> he makes, he's making us all look bad. <laughs> us all look bad. <laughs> so we're like, okay. I, I was just finishing bit. up dinner before the chat, but Chat Sense was at the gym being responsible. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and we got my beautiful friend Carolyn is also in the house. Hey, Carolyn. What's going on, Carolyn? What's up, Carolyn? Doing, Carolyn? Yes. That name sounds So, familiar. guys, let's get started. We have each five fragrances. I have mostly samples because I literally just started delving in. Um, I think Nap has some samples as well, and so does Uncommon Sense. And of course, you know. Chai has bottles. Just saying. Maybe Maybe. Bottles. <laughs> bottles. <laughs> so we're gonna start with uncommon and we're gonna move over to Chai, then myself, and then with Nappy. So we'll start with you. Hey Nina. Okay. <laughs> What's going on, Nina? All right, so this is a, a legitimate sample, but some of everybody has uh either talked about it and even Amina has had this perfumer on, and this is Oswald Pere, and this is Vertu Divert. Ah, okay. Okay. You don't want to focus because they see my face in the background. Okay. <laughs> but Vertu Divert. Again, I've been holding off on doing these so you guys get a chance to experience it right along with me. I've been hearing a lot of great things about this, chiefly from uh, Equality Fragrances. Okay. All right, let's see what we get. It's a Vetiver based fragrance. So, is it V E T U Divert? Vetu, so yep. V E two V E T U D E V E R T. Yep. I, I maybe mispronounced it, but okay. what I get from is Vetu de Ver. Yeah. Okay. I have it. It's really green. Okay. It's uh, it's a little herbal, and okay. it's earthy too. So individuals who do not like vetiver or earthy scents, this probably wouldn't be your jam. But I love vetiver. 
this yeah. feels like this is a fragrance that is ready for like right now, like springtime. The big thaw is happening, okay. and I would really rock this springtime all the way. Mm. Maybe not necessarily summer because okay. the earthiness mixed with yeah. summer heat. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I know how musk kind of comes up off of my skin, so I wouldn't yeah. want to do that in the summertime. Do yeah, you get like a rooty vibe? Okay. It smells yeah. very rooty. Yeah, it smells like um Okay. <laughs> smells like if you've ever had like root like a salva? Like yeah. that? Like like bee juice yes. or mm-hmm. if you have or if you have like a plant that's actually planted in yep. dirt. Yeah. Is what it smells like. You took it out of the dirt and that's what you get at first. Okay. But yeah. then it starts to it starts to uh get a little bit better as yep. it dries down. So yeah, it definitely has like some lim- okay. like some lemon ish or it is very strong Maryland K Par. It has a lemony type of undertone to it that kind of comes shortly after that rooty, earthy, and then it's like it transitions it's transitioning fairly quickly. Like so this is one that I am going to enjoy for the springtime. <laughs> and more than likely th- I will full bottle this one for sure because I'm a vet I'm crazy about veterans oh, wow. just like I am about mint. Yeah. And Tara, no, I'm not. I'm not hiding it. It's over here. I just, I literally just got back in town last night. I have not unpacked any of my bags. So the other oh, yes. one is underneath yes. that one. You just can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> the nice part about that fragrance too is that it is, I believe it's $80 right now. Mm-hmm. And it's uh, by Mr. Oz, who is also a YouTuber as yes. well. Um, and it's multifolfactive. Yes, and- that's the house. Right now, he has it discounted, so you're getting like the old bottle version. Mm-hmm. That bottle is nice too, though. Yeah, it, the bottle yeah. is okay. very, very nice. Yes. Now, where did you purchase this? You said I got these samples from. from. I got the samples that I have from American Perfumer. Let me see. Mm-hmm. So I got the samples from okay. AmericanPerfumer.com because I ordered quite a few of them okay. from the house of uh, Motifo okay. Factor. So I did them all in one while. Okay. If you purchase, okay. I believe it's if you purchase a fragrance or two from him, he'll actually, he sent me the full house samples, like really? samples of everything. Yeah. That's because you you the boss, man. He knew he had the brains for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I, I, I ended up purchasing a couple. Actually, uh, I purchased three. So that's probably why. <laughs> uh, that probably, that, that, that would, that would yeah. make a lot of sense. Yeah, uh, Tosh has a question. She's okay. asking silly question. No such thing as a silly question, Tosh. What makes no, a fragrance right. indie? Okay. Um, that's a you guys want to answer? No, you answer. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, in my opinion, what makes a fragrance indie? Uh, an indie fragrance house is going to be a house that does not have the backing of a corporation. Like Yves Saint Laurent, they have the backing of their fashion house to help, help quote unquote, push the fragrance or diversify the fragrance. Uh, indie perfume is going to be someone much like Mike, who will start his getting ready to have his own fragrance line. He's going to be an indie perfume until he gets into right. syndication and starts inking global deals and teaming up with various individuals to get that distribution out there. Uh, another example of an indie perfumer would be genre parfums, Devin Bro. Okay. Uh, who else? I would classify. I would classify Dua as well as indie uh, indie perfume house. What as about well. Ganache? Ganache, yes. Uh, Jericho Covarubias at Ganache, he's indie as well. Okay. Yep. So in my mindset, when I think indie, again, the, the backing, the financial backing, yep. one person I would definitely, is my favorite right now, and that's um, Maison de Darius. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um, Maison de Darius, I would consider Pink Mahogany, I would consider Maya Anjai, I would consider even um, the gentleman, uh, Soul uh, Savoir Fair, Chris Classic. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I think those guys, even though they may have a little bit of, some people may have a little bit of backing behind them. If they yep. are not on a large scale store or a huge distributor, and they are literally hand jamming everything, yep. I consider those guys indie. Same yep. thing like uh, Chad Bilsma from uh, from Asha Curel. He would be indie as well. Mm-hmm. Tara has an amazing definition. Yes. Okay. Legitimate. <laughs> most indie houses, the owner is also the perfumer. Okay. Yes. And in most cases, yep. the only employee, or there might be a very small team if the indie brand becomes successful. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And that would be just like Motifo Factors. Yep. So. <laughs> yep. What's going on, D'Angelo? We see you just crap in the chat. How are you? I know. Uh, no. <laughs> he's he's going to have a channel soon. We were talking. Uh, again, like we we've been talking about the him and Abraham Johnson, which who I'm sure will probably That's pop right. up later. Yes. Both of them need to get on in there and do it. But you That's know, we'll right. be patient and welcoming when you guys come Absolutely. on in. That's <laughs> right. That's right. 
All right, so it's on me, right? Yes, yes sir. All right. So since you decided to go with multiple factors, I think I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> so I decided on doing Nectar Boise. Okay. 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 So I like that is, bottle. Beautiful bottle. This is a gorgeous bottle. So this is one of the newer bottles. I actually, I believe I did a video and had this in it. But Nectar Boise has the notes of fruits, cardamom, uh, galbanum, uh, vetiver, sandalwood, cedar, labdanum, the, uh, vanilla, tulu, tulu balsam, and patchouli. So with all of those notes and saying that, what does it actually smell like? Mm -hmm. It's very, it has this honey note that's up top that's very beautiful. So I love honey and the fragrance. Mm. When you when you smell this for the first time, it smells very sweet. It smells like nectar. It smells like all of these beautiful sweet um, fruits that you would just like. Like it makes you want to eat mango. It makes you want to eat something <laughs> sweet. Um, as it dries down, because it takes a while for me for it to dry down, but it's very very beautiful. Um, I see Rob just joined. Hey Rob. What's I'm going on, Rob? Good with you. Um, this fragrance is absolutely beautiful. It's probably one of my favorites. Again, from Mr. Oz, um, multifolfactive. I believe this is like 110. Mm -hmm. So for a 50 ml that's extra to parfum, that's like this thing lasts, projects. I literally have to do two sprays only. Oh, and wow. And it's like it's projecting. Okay. I don't want to spray it because I'm actually going to visit my stepmom tonight and she hates fragrances. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. So I have to make sure to not spray any of these on me. And honestly, you can smell this from the bottle. If I sprayed this, I could put my arm out out like really far and I could smell it. Wow. And we're talking like a wow. good um I get about a good ten to twelve hours of longevity. As yeah. well, no, so yeah, that, that is, is a long, yeah. So basically, those of us that are over sprayers, yes, this is yeah. Sex. You need to put a warning on the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually very sexy on a woman too, as well as a man. It's mm -hmm. literally like right down the middle, very unisex. That honey note is is everything. Okay, all right, yeah. So that's nectar blase. Right. Says. Courtney says, I think we're all bunched in Pam's live. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it looks like it. Well, say, feel, feel free to, to, to do some relocating yeah, if need please, be, but guys, always. Make sure you go over to everyone's <laughs> channel. Um, I tried to put the links in the bottom, but all you have to do really is type their name in, in a search bar and they'll pop right up. And make sure you subscribe. Make sure you yes. hit the like button. And Definitely you can hang out there for a few minutes so that they can get um, the quality time that they need. Uh, so new comments. Anisius yes, says it was hi. Mono Aces. No, Rob, it was Nectar Boise. Nectar Boise. Is that B O I S E? Yes. B O I S. Okay. Well, B O I S E. Yes. Okay. That bottle is dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah bottle, I really yeah. like the bottle. You know, some people it. say that they buy fragrances for bottles, and I'm finding myself trying to claw myself away from certain things because that's you buy a fragrance and you don't like the smell. Or yeah, it's not you, yet not right. a love, not you don't like it, and then mm -hmm. you, but just the bottle, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that's part of the uh, to me that's part of the allure. Like if the fragrance is okay, but the bottle is nice, you got yes. it. <laughs> yes, yes, that's kind of hard. That's you get some hard. guys that put too much work into the bottle and not enough work into the fragrance. And see, yeah, right. that's what we have. And problem. then the cost. So right. we're paying for um the we're bottle. Actually, end up paying for the cost of the 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 packaging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I have my first one. I'm looking at these because I literally fell hard for this brand. And it's funny because after the first night that I, I did I did this brand, I was kind of like, well, you know, they're okay and stuff like that. But I'll tell you what makes a difference with me. Customer service makes a difference. Mm -hmm. So I reviewed Maya and Jai uh, last Friday. Initial impressions. Maya and Jai was on my chat on Instagram, as well as the lady from Muse who owns uh, Muse Experiences, mm -hmm. right? And that's that's something that you don't 
you don't get anymore. People act like, you know, you're lucky to even smell their stuff. Yeah. <laughs> right. For you sure. Know? And she responds. And mm-hmm. that meant a lot to me. Mm-hmm. But what meant a whole much more, of course, is when the man of the house, Nathan, told me I smelled good because he was like sniffing on my arm and the arm he was sniffing on, the one fragrance that stood out was Le Fleur mm-hmm. by Maya, Maya Angelou. Guys, this is such a pretty scent. It's a very, it's floral, right? That's what you would think, mm-hmm. Le Fleur. Mm-hmm. But it's mm-hmm. actually more woody heavy. It's a little fruit. I like fruity and sweet. Mm-hmm. Citrusy, mm-hmm. musky, spicy, and powdery. The way this is blended, guys, it only mm-hmm. has 15 votes on Perkandica and it has over four, like four point. Wow. One three, so for such a little bit of people talking about this fragrance, right? And it's hard to get a four on Fragantica, huh? It's hard to get a four on Fragantica. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That shows you it's it's on to something, huh? That shows you it's on to something because if if everybody is like in the same vein of saying I I rated a four plus or four plus, it's consistent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What's the longevity on it? The longevity on it. So after I was done, I was after I was done with the live. I went and I was um like hanging out and whatnot, and t- I taped. So and I was there for like three and a half four hours, and then I was just hanging out watching TV because my husband was getting ready to fly out the next day. So I would say at least six hours I got on my skin, but that's because I was dry. I wasn't working out. I wasn't outside or anything like that. I was inside an air conditioned house. Mm-hmm. So I think that during the summer. It's going to become more of a skin scent faster, but it's not unpleasant. It makes you want, you know, those scents where you want to keep sticking your face in your, in your, your skin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I get that, but it didn't, um, it didn't disperse and become, it didn't turn. It didn't get sour. It stayed right there. It's a beautifully blended fragrance to the point where I will say, when you look at the name, it says Le Fleur. When you spray it on your skin, it says Le Fleur. When you look at the notes, you're like, where are the flowers? <laughs> <laughs> right? Where are the flowers? It just has a genuinely different vibe. I envision myself walking through the airport with maybe, um, well, no, Louis Vuitton luggage. I wouldn't walk through the airport with that. But, mm-hmm. you know, just like some bougie stuff, like Hermes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right? Where I walk past someone... Is that how you said that, Hermes? Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. So you walk past someone and they're, they don't know what they're smelling, but they just smell good. You're mm-hmm. wearing a jeans with a crisp white shirt, pop your collar or not, you wear a nice, you know, scarf. I'm getting this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am getting this. this mm-hmm. I just like, it has like a, almost like a, some, type, some sort of sugary note. But I don't know what that is because it doesn't, I don't see, like, you know how Tiziana Torrens, you say sugar? Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I don't see that. And I don't, I just smell it on my skin. It has like a nice sweet, it's beautiful, guys. And that's Le Fleur. Okay. Okay. Would you say that it is, uh, would you think, would you say it is unisex? Absolutely. Okay. And that's one of the things that um, I think that a lot of people who, well, the people who recommended this house, because I didn't know nothing about her. <laughs> I saw Amina, she was still in Europe. Yeah. And I was watching her video. And she was talking about Maya Angelou. You know how she used to do her head looking up at her wall and her, mm-hmm. in her room? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I think she squirted and I think it went in her eye. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, but the funny thing about it is that when she was talking about this fragrance and when she talked about the developer, you know, her backstory and stuff, mm-hmm. when you look mm-hmm. at the card, which I had the card in here, when you look at her card and stuff, it's just so effortlessly chic. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what I feel with a lot of, out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, I like five and I love three. Mm-hmm. So I really enjoy, I really enjoy it. Okay. Very cool. Excellent. So Mike, it's on you. Okay. So this particular fragrance, I, uh, I was not expecting it to smell the way that it smelled from the packaging. This is from Tabahani Fragrances. Uh, she is a faith-based uh, fragrance creator, and okay. she makes hers and she titles them after like different things that you were here in the faith-based realm. Uh, this one is titled "Midnight Praise." Okay, by Tabahani Fragrances. And okay. when I was looking at a lot of her presentation, it was purple, a lot of uh, stones and sort of crystal, and everything seemed like it was more so marketed towards women. Not that it was exclusive, but just this is who I'm going to market towards. 
And I got it, opened this bad boy up, smelled it, and I was just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this stuff is really good. The notes for this is jasmine, Tahitian vanilla, cinnamon, sandalwood, and pear. Oh. It is very much so not what I was expecting. I was expecting this to smell like an old lady at church. Oh. That's what I was expecting. <laughs> I was expecting... <laughs> Like, you know, like them ladies, they got them really big hats with all that stuff going. I was supposed to smell like one of them ladies. Hey, why are you playing with me tonight? <laughs> you don't wear those hats, do you? I love hats. <laughs> oh my God. You wear like the Bro. big ones, the ones that block views? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes. And they yeah. always yeah. got a church yeah. band. They I, always I got a church band. Okay. I, <laughs> I have, a, I think I have one that the hair is like the afro is really big. Oh, yeah. wow. Uh, go, but you know what? Go ahead with your bad self. Ain't, 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 ain't nothing as long wrong as you with ain't good... wearing white diamonds. As long as you don't have them <laughs> sprayed on white diamonds. Hey, that was my, that's my mom, one of my mother's favorite. That's fragrance. my mom's favorite. Yes. <laughs> you cannot wear that. That's just, just going to age you so quickly. <laughs> well, then my mother is aged. She, my mother is mature, but she she doesn't look like it at all. She has a very youthful spirit. And, you know, you never guess that my mother, my mother will be 71 yeah. next month. Uh, and she probably looked like she in her thirties or something. Like 40, 40 ish, pushing black, forty. Maybe. Black is that color that do not cry. <laughs> yeah. The Seven only reason the only reason people kind of know her age is because um, my brother is fifty. So oh, that's the only reason. Like you have to know that at one point you had to be a certain age to have a fifty year old. Okay. So yeah. that's the only reason. Other than that, listen, my grandmother wore white diamonds and she sprayed it on like it was a contest. Like who could <laughs> get the most sprays on in one day. <laughs> My grandma wore it too. <laughs> <laughs> but this right here caught me off guard. It's very uh f- from 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 the note layout, you wouldn't think it, but it's very exotic. Like okay. this smells mm. like an island. It smells like it. It smells like an island in the like dead in the evening, like six o'clock in the evening. Okay. The heat is at its highest. This smells like that. Uh it's very comforting. Oh, this stuff is so good. It caught me off guard. I think that's why I like it so much because it wasn't what I was expecting. Okay. You ever mm-hmm. you ever go somewhere and blind buy a fragrance and you don't know what to expect and when you yeah. smell it, it's great. So it yeah. just yeah. seems like it's that much more better. Yeah. It's kind of like that. And okay. um, the packaging on this was superb. They came in like this purple box with these purple rose uh, petals oh, wow. and purple wow. lace and all that. It was very woman marketed. Mm-hmm. But I was enjoying, I was over there and them purple flowers just enjoying it. <laughs> I love this fragrance. This is really good stuff. Uh, I The link should be to their website, should be in the description for Tabahani okay. Fragrances. Check her out. She got a, she got a long list of uh, products and, and perfumes and scents. All of them are faith-based, so you will see, you will notice it in the names and in the theme layout. And yeah, definitely go check her out. And that's mm-hmm. one of my black owned fragrances. Okay. Was that a 50 ml or 30? This is uh this is a 55 ml. Oh, oh. 55. Okay. It's what got a decent cost? little dent in it, too. Can you share oh, yeah. it? <laughs> what was all I told you I was in them flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that they came in them flowers over there like <laughs> <laughs> what's the um, <laughs> what's the cost for that one? <laughs> this is 75. Oh, that's wow. good. For yeah, that's right. yeah, yeah. It's really good. Also, also, I forgot to mention this is a coconut oil based fragrance, so she oh. doesn't use alcohol. Okay, wow. coconut oil based, so you're going to get a little bit of coconut, and that's where that exotic vibe comes from, okay. too. Yeah, along with that pear, the cinnamon, the sandalwood. Just stop playing around yeah. you know, with the Tabahani fragrances gotcha. and purchase. And is what, you, what would you say about the longevity? I'm, I'm half expecting because it has coconut oil in it. It's the, uh, the longevity on this one's with the, especially with that cinnamon and that uh, that cinnamon and that sandalwood. For me, it lasts on my skin. It does well. Yeah, I'm a dark brother, so scents tend to do a lot better on me I than mean, they would someone else. When listen, I put this my skin on, metabolize them. Uh, yeah, right <laughs> on me when I put this on, especially if I spread on my chest and all that fresh out the shower, I'm getting a solid nine. Okay. Oh, wow. and it, just, it just it just leaves a, a really good skin scent with that cinnamon and that pear. Mm-hmm. The pear doesn't leave. It's just there. Okay. It's a wow. there pear. 
So it's it's really good. For me, I get a solid nine, but for you, it may be a little different. Okay. Yeah. There's a gentleman on uh, one of the Facebook uh, groups, the fragrance group, and I think it's mostly men in there, like the fragrance lord and, and stuff like that. Uh-huh. And he did a video, which I watched last week. So I switched up the way I am spraying. Normally, I spray, 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 and I'm sensitive on my chest, so I wouldn't put anything there. And he was talking about why fragrances wasn't lasting. Mm -hmm. So, and I also spray behind my neck. So what Mm -hmm. he said is you spray the majority to the base of your neck. So if you have long hair, your hair is going to be, you know, when you move and stuff like that. And then you you spray in your shirt. Mm -hmm. I've been trying that method for the past week and a half, I want to say, because I watched a video Mm -hmm. like Monday or Tuesday. Guys. Mm -hmm. When you're in your office or you're working and stuff like that, you get and you turn, you, you get in that whiff. You know, I love it because we wash our hands a lot. Yeah. So when we, yeah. when you put perfume here, if you're no. washing your hands properly, you don't want all your perfume. Yeah. yeah, you put it here instead. Yeah. I put my fragrances here all the time. Mm-hmm. They last. That's why when other people say I'm having a hard time, mm-hmm. I use baby oil gel and mm-hmm. then I also spray my fragrances. Okay, just right yeah. here and right here. And then usually I do here, neck, and then, you know, like Rihanna did, the legs. So, yeah, you get so the right. does anybody do like the back of the knees? I do. Christy no. does. I thought I was doing during the um during the summer. Okay. During the summer, because if I'm wearing um even if I'm wearing like uh, linen pants and stuff like that, because right. the only time I'm actually sitting is when I'm driving from wherever I'm going. But the majority of time I'm standing around and whatnot and it does because of the pulse points back there, yeah. right? Yeah. But for the yeah. most part, I try I, during the summer because my arms are bare. I do the arm here, here, and then now with that new technique, I'm definitely going to be spraying like my, but not doing this because I used to do this too. Uh, I'm not doing yeah. that anymore. That's a lot of people suggest do, do the cloud and walk into it. No, that's a way. No, yeah, that's that's way that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work for me. And what I tend to do is I do. I do in wherever you'd have a fold. I do pit <laughs> yeah. of the elbow. Uh-huh. I do pit of the throat. Be careful with that because those fragrances that tend to last long, mm-hmm. you'll taste them. And it's weird. Yes. So yeah. I do pit of the throat across the back of the shoulders so it can get in the locks and kind of billow in the breeze. Um, but yeah, mostly upper body and in the uh, pit of the elbows and across the shoulders, it works for me. I, I don't do much um, lower body spraying. Mm-hmm. One, because I got a lot of legs and it'll probably take forever to get up here to my nose. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I haven't. Uh, I haven't done that. But Christy definitely suggested. I don't know if you guys know Christy, but uh, Christy suggested yeah. for those fragrances that are really strong, aka mm-hmm. I'm talking about um, Angel. What is the one with Laotian Oud that Doc uh, sent to me? I can't remember what it is right now, but it's a um, damn it Oud Luxuria by Novitas Parfums. It is really, really strong. Okay. I was decanting it and had my syringe and I had it a little bit left because I had overpulled mm-hmm. and I threw. I, I plunged it in the sink. My bathroom smelled like ooh luxury. Yes, my oh, bathroom okay. smelled like ooh luxuria for roughly a week. Oh, Kid wow. you not. So wow. it's a very strong fragrance. It's one of those, brilliant. you know, I'll probably have to do lower body because it it projects. It projects and lasts. So okay. listen, I got a huge box full of syringes in my in her. So I was like, "Boy, what you doing drugs?" I'm like, "Nah, but it is an addiction." <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. All right, so what's your next one, Uncommon? My next one. Okay, so I'm going to take it. I mentioned this earlier, but I'm going to take it right on over to Devin Bro from Genre Parfums. This one is called Expletive. Oh. Okay. You know, I tried to get something from Genre Parfums for the longest time, and I just keep missing the the time. And I'm like, how do you get fragrances from there? So have you joined the Facebook group? Yes, I'm in okay. the Facebook group. You got to watch out for um, when the listing goes live because uh, Order of Genre, he usually only does it like once a month. And yeah. he's the individual who actually, I think he works on the oil rig. So he's often not in town. So when he comes okay. in town, he's right to work. And he'll open up uh, ordering. And ordering will only be open for like 24 hours. And you have to okay. get in there and get it done. Because if you don't, really? you're going to miss out. I've missed Okay. Three times since oh, wow. since I originally ordered. And uh, I want to just shout out. Um, I cannot remember his name right now. Damn it. But yeah. one of the most giving individuals I've ever met on Facebook sent me maybe 20 genre samples. All wow. like five mil. And I'm I, um, Dugan. Cool. Brian Dugan is his name. He's in okay. Facebook groups. If you guys have ever met him, he's one of the sweetest people. Okay. What's going on, Cedric C? I see you. I see Cinnasol. How y'all doing? Um, so yeah, 
Devin Bro is the perfumer, and the mm-hmm. house is Genre Parfums. Yeah. So what does the Storm fragrance Patrick. smell like? We gonna see. Cause okay. again, I've, I've been holding out. You know, oh, okay. I've been stockpiling. It's, it's We're gonna check it out together. Hey, it's nothing like an ex- a, a, an experience amongst family, right? Right. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. Now see, I understand why this is called expletive. Cause the moment you smell, it's like, damn. You wanna <laughs> <laughs> so I'm about to say the F word. I'm getting a little bit of musk. I want to say like oh, apple, a little bit of leather. Okay. Okay. It I smells love apple in the fragrance. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it yeah. smells really good. It smells and really leather. good. Yeah, and leather. The leather's like slightly in the background. Hey, Latanya, thank you for subscribing. I, welcome to the Uncommon Sense Fam and Clan. Yes. yes. But thank this, you, is, this everybody is an amazing fragrance. Really appreciate it. This is an amazing fragrance. And we're going to get a, we have to get a whole bottle of that too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and and again, this one is a eau de parfum. Most of his concentrations will either be a uh, perfume serum or eau de parfum. Okay. Um, wow. I, I would I would say another another word that starts with an F and it's four letters, but I'm a, I'm gonna keep it classy. But wow. it's that good. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Oh, no wow. cap at all. Like this is an amazing fragrance, and <laughs> I think I will wear this probably. This is probably more suited for summer. Okay. It kind of puts me in the mind and frame of. Oud lemon style. mint, but not okay. oud lemon mint. You, just, you know it, what I'm saying? It's a unisex. Right. It's a yeah, unisex. I believe this one is unisex, but I can see the fellas being more uh, okay. enamored with it than the ladies are. Okay. Kind of like oud lemon mint. Most of the fellas will say all oh, oud lemon mint is one of the best fragrances around, but the ladies would be like, "It's cool." You know what I mean? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the only I think the only oh, lady that I know that cates for oud lemon mint like the fellas do is Doc Rose. Dr. Rose. She's the only yeah. one that loves it. Like. We do. She loves <laughs> oud, though. She loves oud. Yes. Yeah, and she I think this one oud. has a really um, a, a understated oud. It's not one yes. of the ones that's skanky, loud, etc. But yes. I'm certain that the yes. oud is yes. in here to yes. make it a fixative. And this sound, this smells like a fragrance that I won't be able to get off my skin. So I could wear this all day. So nice. you have someone who's going to, Louis said he's going to pick up. Listen, if you're not in the genre uh, Parfums Facebook group, get in there. Yeah. And Devin Bro is a really cool guy. Um, Everybody is really nice, actually. Yeah, in that group, just very, very, very nice. How was the spell? G E N R E, like genre. Genre G E N R E. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Yep. P R F U M S. Uh, P A. P A. Put it in the chat so folks can yep. go uh, look. Okay. I'll type it in. Okay, okay. thank okay. you. Yep. Very nice. So, so guys, when you when we come off, you'll see all the fragrances that the gentlemen have mentioned and myself. You're gonna see it listed there, down there for you to go take a look at, including the name of most of them, if we can yep. remember, the name of the houses. So it'll be easy for you to find. Indeed. All right, so I'm up next. Yes. So I want to so if anybody knows me and has been watching my channel. Uh-huh. They know that I am into one particular house, probably more than most. So this house is going to be Dreamhouse of Curio. Okay. And this fragrance I actually found out about from another YouTuber who I don't know if a lot of you all are familiar with him, but uh, he smells like Rome, Rome. He put me on to this fragrance, and this was the first fragrance I ever purchased, and it's called Othello. Okay. And this fragrance is, um, so with this particular one, he made this based off of, and the perfumer is Vincent from Dreamhouse and Curio. Um, He made this fragrance, uh, he is a, he is in like the theater uh, that's what he does for a living. Okay. So he like makes productions, different things like that. So mm-hmm. what he wanted to do was he wanted to do a play off of black and white. So he did oh. black and white fragrances for this particular line. There's three fragrances within the line, within this particular uh, line. So it's uh, these Miss Genic three. And I have two of the three. But this one has black amber. Black Thorn, okay. Black Agar, wow. Black Spruce, Black Pepper, Black Dahlia, and Black Cherry. Okay. Wow. So 
if you've ever smelled anything from Vincent's uh, line, Vincent is a gourmand lover. So every fragrance that you get has some gourmand quality. And this fragrance is absolutely gorgeous on your skin. So think something that is sugary, juicy, sweet, but you get this cherry note that's in it, which is that black cherry. So you okay. smell that up top. So you're smelling amber and cherry mixed yeah. together. Yeah, that sounds and then, delicious. And then you have these beautiful um, floral uh, facets in the fragrance, but you're still getting that cherry. It just develops, projects. This fragrance lasts me about a good 16 to 18 hours. Okay. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. Easily. Um, if I spray it and it hits my clothes, it's on my clothes for a couple of days. Oh, wow. With that note layout, it sounds like it, it will It sounds be. delicious. <laughs> yeah, I love this, that thing. This, this look what Tara said. She said it in, sounds incomplete because it, uh, it needs some black walnut as well. You know, <laughs> <laughs> this, this fragrance, um, you get 60 ml and I believe that, so right now, so he stopped doing perfumery and, uh, right when COVID hit, and then now he's starting back. Okay. So uh, for the time being, there's a the website called distractionsss.com. If you go there, you have to call the place because they don't have them listed. Okay. But he has six of his original fragrances. I don't remember. I believe Othello may be in there. But there are six other ones that are absolutely amazing, just like this one. Um, I have about, I want to say 13 or 14 bottles from the house. Oh, wow. That's so a lot. That's a lot. It's, it's a lot, but I tell you that this is an absolutely amazing house. So you definitely what's, check his, it out. what's his, um, like, what's the repertoire? How many fragrances are in his house? Probably. Um, so I believe if you look on fragrance, I believe it shows 28, but he has more than that. Oh, he wow. also has uh, new fragrances that are coming out very, very soon. I believe they're coming out in either April or okay. May. And then that distraction store that I, or the distractions website that I was telling you about. Yes. If you call them, they have specific fragrances that he will only sell there. Okay. So you won't find them anywhere else. Um, there's three of them specifically i i was given an opportunity to purchase those early so i have those fragrances and let me tell you they're they're delicious uh, huh they are gourmand lover's dream so we had we had some new people in the house i think i saw cheryl come in we also have cool? gerda hi hey gerda. gerda what's going on Gerda. And I think I saw, there we go. I knew I saw her pop in. Mama West Boy. <laughs> Mama West. Hi, Cheryl. I think we said hello to Spicy, right? Yeah. Yeah. We and just say hey to Red Lantern Frank. Red Lantern Frank. What up, boy? What's going on, sir? <laughs> yes. Thank you guys for joining us. We really well, Tanya, Thank you for that, you. sir. I appreciate that. Welcome and thank you so much for joining us tonight. So, my next fragrance is going to be again from an, I think I picked all, no, I have two men. <laughs> yeah. so let me put my spectacles on so i have here this these just came in a couple of days ago and i posted on instagram when i got it because i was so happy and also because omg guys look at what it came in and now i want i want a dress or a shirt or something mm. in this wow. i love this cloth yeah. i was like what can i make I can't make it no, it won't work. You can, make a mask. <laughs> you can make a mask with it. Huh? You can make a mask with it. I don't know. It. Yeah. It's so oh. pretty. I want like a shirt or something in this print. I gotcha. absolutely love, 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 love this print. That's beautiful. Yes. That is really so, beautiful. I played around with the scents last night, and that is from the house of Pink Mahogany. I call them PM fragrances, but it's actually yeah. Pink Mahogany. And um, I bought the sample the discovery set. And so I was torn because I wanted to play with all of them. So I picked, hmm, I picked two when I put them together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I like the way they smell together. Now I like them individually, but I also like the way they smell together. I picked uh, Fedora and I picked also Tandem. Mm. 
And those are two in opposite, I think, scent stories. Um, but when I put them on my skin and I layer them, I get that nice, like lemony type vibe mm -hmm. from Tandem, almost like, um, People would say it's like not detergent, but like you know, like cleaning fluid. Yeah. Like the lemony. Right. Yeah. Like, like pine uh, solid. Yeah, like pine yeah. solid, okay. but like a perfume. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I was in the bathroom. I was talking to Mike last night. I was like, I don't, I don't know if I like, I like these <laughs> because it smells a certain way. But then when I got up, I got up. It, it was bothering me because I hear so much about these fragrances. Mm -hmm. So I said, let me, let me try this again. And so what happened is I wash my hand off and I tried it again and then I started mixing stuff. Okay. So I do like them individually on their own, both mm -hmm. of them, but I actually like them blended together on my skin. So now I have like a nice spicy, smoky, slightly, um, I don't know if y'all know how to make fudge, but. I can make it a little bit. Yeah, when, yeah. You, when you're, when it, it's slightly burned, mm -hmm. it still tastes good because it's like, you know, it's, it's not burnt. It's just, yeah. you, know, you overcook it a little bit. Yeah. That's what I got with, with these two. So Fedora and the other one is called Tanda. Okay. And that's from the house of PM or um, Pink Mahogany is the brand. Okay. And she like literally, again, makes her own stuff. She's on, I saw her on Instagram. That's how I found her. Mm. <laughs> I found her on Instagram and I was watching um, her in her, you know, in her studio. She does a little, sometimes she does videos and interviews and stuff like that. So I just watched a few of those and I like those as well. So that's Pink Mahogany Tandem as well as, let's see here, Tan, yes, yes, it does. Yeah. It, for me, it feels, it feels that way. And it reminded me, right, because sometimes when we buy a perfume, we tend to think that you bought that perfume and that's it. You know, you shouldn't have to layer it for anything perfect to come out of it. Mm -hmm. Anything oh to be uplifted. But let's be reminded that there are really big houses. One of my favorite is the House of Siage. Every single fragrance that they make, especially in the uh, Whispers line, the one with the pretty flowers and all of that stuff, those are made for layering. You can wear them by themselves, but they're also great with layering. I love well. layering. Yes, layering yeah. fragrances. I've seen I've, I've seen people talk in their videos. I've seen them on, you know, oh, I don't layer. I don't like to layer. A fragrance is not good if you have to layer. I'm sorry, but as many fragrances as we have, we got to mm -hmm. layer. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we got to layer, you know. So yeah. those two I like together. So I'm going to play with the rest of them and mm -hmm. see how I could, what sense I can create. Mm -hmm. But I really enjoy those two. So those ta uh, Tandem and Fedora by Pink Mahogany Fragrances. I was going to say, it, you should it, you should introduce who Nathan is for everybody that does not know. Oh. Nathan is, again, <laughs> if he's if he's not mm -hmm. around, he's I told him to get it. He's in the zone. He's, well, what, he's, we, he's what we'll do is we'll, we'll gently talk about this very professional young man who has a great developed nose and will let you know what's, what's what and what ain't it. <laughs> man, Nathan will let you know <laughs> off top if it ain't if it ain't working. He ain't gonna hold. Yep, he's not gonna no hold bars. He will tell you. <laughs> yep. He don't care if you spend three hundred dollars. He'll be like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany says that she um, accidentally layers. Okay. Mm, okay. <laughs> yep. Y'all yeah, love it. Did you get the chance to create something unique? Yep. Yeah. Uh, this one right here is a combination of Elysium and Baccarat Rouge 540. Ooh. And okay. it is absolutely electric. Elysium by Roja? Yes. Oh, wow. What's the name of that one? That's Essential Obsessions, yeah? Yes, The Prince. Okay. Now, what, now yeah. if, you, or if you're trying to get that, you might have to, to hit him up and message him because he's, I asked him for this personally, but he titled it The Prince. But the prince is actually something entirely different. So he put okay. the wrong title on here. Got uh, it. So I might have to hit him up and tell him, hey, give us a name so we can know where to go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you oh, just, nice. Yes. Yeah, so he just bought it. Nec I have Makai nice. also. And Makai. That's the other one I have. I have Makai, Nectar Boise. Um, the other one that I should have purchased was the Tuma. It was the, the Tuma Zuma or something like that. It's a coffee base fragrance. That one is great. Okay. So. Mm. Yeah. 
<laughs> you get into that thing over there. I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna say good night to Tara. Tara, thank you for stopping yes. by and hanging yeah. with us on tonight. Good night, Tara. And you rest up, and we will see you soon. Yeah, definitely. So All I right. think Mike, it's on you now. It's on yep. me. Okay. All right. So my next fragrance is this is a recent pickup. I picked this up maybe I like three or four days ago. I end up reaching out to this young man, this young guy, for some samples. He sent me some samples, and I immediately made a purchase for this Ooh. is the Telefero. Uh, this is called BED, Become Everyone's Desire. Nice. Yep. This right here, I spray some on mine. Yes. So this is, he got three notes listed. It's red, currant, bergamot, and tea. Okay. What it reminds me of is the red, currant, and it's a fragrance from Joe Malone. Oh. Red, currant, and it's something else. But it reminds me of that because of the red current that's in it. Okay. Yeah. Very musky, floral. And it's floral in a way where whenever there's an abundance of florals that it, it kind of becomes peppery. Mm-hmm. It's floral yeah. in that sense. Okay. Uh, it kind of has like a pink pepper sort of vibe as well. This is just a beautiful, uh, beautiful fragrance. And it's just a beautiful packaging. Very yeah. simple. Very classic. Atomizer does really well. Stretches clear across the room almost for me. And uh, I just like the simplistic logo that he has for it. Uh, like I said, this is a recent pickup. Very musky. I love tea. It kind of reminds me also of Silver Mountain Water. Okay. But yep. take out the inkiness, take out the metallicness, add in pink pepper, and add in a nice and juicy uh, red currant. Okay. That's what this is. Love it. it. Very good. I have that one too. Yeah. <laughs> was uh, that in your lineup for tonight of, uh, <laughs> i know right i, I want to say he's based out of new jersey i want to oh, say you're correct yep i just yep. had a live with him last what? week yeah oh, that's right bench that time that video is live right now yeah i had a live so awesome bench time with it uh you do know he he has a 20 percent off right now for the no, whole weekend. We did not know. <laughs> he has a he has a 20% off this weekend. If you don't follow him, he's the Talia Farrow mm-hmm. on uh Instagram, and that's where I saw it at. Yep. So 20% off the weekend. Sweet. Yeah, it's, it's some good stuff. I, I like I like I love this one right here. I've been wearing this one. I'll have a scent of the day and I'll just kind of sneak this one in on one of my other arms and just yeah. wear it anyway. Yep. <laughs> It's hard to tell people what your center of the day is because I'll have one here. I'll have one I'm wearing, one mm-hmm. I'm testing, and one I'm testing. So I, I, people are like, you smell good. What you got on? It's like like three different things. So it, it never really helps. <laughs> it never See, really Courtney, helps. Courtney bought Cloud 9. Cloud 9, okay. So okay. I want to try uh, room. I got, I got some samples here. The room 129. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't mind getting a full bottle of this. It kind of gives me, man, it's a tart cherry that's in there. I, I just bought it. I just bought that one. I haven't gotten it yet. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> That's good. I've been being good. I haven't been buying a whole lot of full bottles. Right. Uh, I've been sampling more than anything. <laughs> but also, too, I've had a lot of people just sending me stuff. So shout out to Mario Dones. He sent me stuff. Shout out to um can't remember her name right now, but she sent me a great deal of the novices perfumes that Big Beer Business does. Lumisier. Lumisier sent okay. me a great deal of those. So I don't want to try. I've been getting an influx of uh, samples, so I haven't been buying full bottles. The only thing, also too, I kind of slowed down on full bottles because I've recently just had somebody's just like stealing my shit. <laughs> so really? I just recently signed wow. up for a UPS oh. box. I'm gonna start having my stuff sent there. So yes, yes, yeah, I had to learn the hard way. <laughs> had to All learn right. the hard way. Yeah. No, you so had a question, Pam. The question, yeah, yep. was about Anaxis perfumes. I have, I don't have any of them. Yeah, me either. I don't yeah. either. Yeah. So I am. Where do you find that? Is that a site, or um, do we need to go to Instagram to find Anaxis? If you would put it down in the comment section, that would be great. So I can test them out. I've been also trying really hard to trying in my head. Not to buy a whole bunch of full bottles. Yeah. No, D'Angelo, we didn't talk about our sense of the day. Ah, that's right. That's right. 
No, we didn't actually. So my scent of the day was by Givenchy, and it is the uh, Ang ou de Mon Le Secret. And I did it in a recent video, the one I posted yesterday. And so I used that fragrance today. And oddly enough, because of the lemony type um, vibe that fragrance gave me, you know, well, not quite lemon, like a tart fruit, basically. Mm -hmm. I actually pulled, <laughs> I pulled out one of uh, <laughs> one of PM fragrances, and I think it was the Fedora. Mm -hmm. And I blended it on my arm to see how if it if it went well, which it did. But mm -hmm. for the most part, I took that's the bottle I used today. So I got about five and a half hours wearing it, the wig spraying behind my neck. And I wore a uniform all day today. So what I do is I spray my arms so as I'm moving around, yep. I can smell it. Yep. And I actually really like that fragrance. Nice spring light. So that's my scent of the day today. Cool. What about you, Mike? What's your scent of the day? Who? What did I have on? Oh, Bleecker <laughs> Street. Okay. I was, I was wearing Bleecker Street because I was like, everybody was saying how good of a springtime fr fragrance that was. Uh huh. So I noticed that it had like blueberry, I think musk, and it's like some grassy sort of vibe to it. Okay. I was like, I'll try it out. And yeah, I like that mode. That's pretty nice. Okay. What about you, Shy Sense? So I wore Don Savage. Okay. Chris Collins. Ah. Uh. Yeah. So I actually ended up, it finally came in the mail um, like a couple of days ago, but I already knew what it was about, smelled amazing. Of course, this is a black owned yep. uh, brand. Mm -hmm. uh, this is absolutely amazing. Has this, it, so it says it has plum and all these other notes, but what I get is a lot of mint and uh -huh. then there's like a sweetness to it. Um, it smells amazing. So that's my scent. Sweet. Nice. Uh, I like I said I do. I had two things on today. So two Guys, things just on excuse today. Me just for one minute. Yeah. I had two things on today. Um, I tried out. I was talking to uh, Jay Copeland um, mm -hmm. last week or so, and uh, he had a video out about Okja. Um, okay. And I learned mm -hmm. at that point that Okja is um, oil perfumeries like legitimate fragrance brand yes so i had i had on one on each arm i had gazellic on one arm which i think is venetian bergamot and okay. then old barrel on one arm which is beau de jour so they're uh most of them are inspired fragrances not all of them because they have some originals so i was trying each of those out so that's what i wore today but i also knew the original yeah what's that <laughs> Sorcery. Uh, sorcery. That's yeah. an original. Okay. Yeah. yeah so I knew mom. I was having this live tonight, and I'm more than likely was gonna have other fragrances on my arms. So yeah. I showered and got those off, and I'm 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 a blank canvas right now. So, <laughs> but I will tell okay. you guys just as an update, if you guys uh, Vertu de Vert, yeah. those three sprays I put on this little bitty strip here has my room full. Yep. So that's why oh, wow. in between you guys see me kind of sniffing my coffee beans to keep my palate cleansed. So Ooh, we can you gotta go have that fragrance. coffee nearby. You got to have it nearby. Right. <laughs> yeah. But like Vetu de Verde, if you guys have not tried it and you're into like earthy slash herbal and green fragrances, this will be right up your alley because it does what you need it to do and it performs well. So I'm going to cape for that one. I'm going to have that one in my collection. So <laughs> Thank you, Taiji. <laughs> Yes. Future and Friday, each year I'm wearing Galano. Okay. Nice. So I guess Courtney oh. has on three fragrances as well. <laughs> Courtney, I'm, I, that's how I roll. <laughs> so I think it's, is it on me or is it on me, right? Yes. Okay. So like Mike said before, I'm going to go with Natalia Farrell, but I'm going with Cloud Nine. I. Yeah. Those are some nice so, bottles. Yes, they the are. difference yeah. in between them is that he has like a little piece of paper and it says a different uh, there's a different icon for each one. Mm -hmm. So this one is sugar cookie, amber and vanilla. Mm. But what I get is uh, have you ever smelled uh, Carner Barcelona from. Um, Hello. I Sorry can't about remember. That. No, that's OK. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the. I'm trying um, to close it out. There we go. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, so there's a fragrance, uh, Carnar Barcelona. It has this uh, milky 
there's this lactonic quality to it. Yeah. And I believe that's what the sugar cookie is. So okay. maybe like the smell of that cookie and then there's amber and then the vanilla. Love this scent. Okay. Like I spray this thing on as much as possible. Like when I get out of the shower after working out at the end of the night, I spray this on, <laughs> smell it in the morning. Like you get that beautiful, smooth vanilla smell. And what mm -hmm. I like about his fragrances are that they actually last, they project, they're, mm -hmm. but they're airy. Okay. They're not, they're not like gonna, you won't choke a room. They're not glowing at all. No, not at all. Very, very nice. So. <sighs> <laughs> would you say that Vero. would you say that gourmands are like your favorite fragrance genre like is that where you find the concentration of most of your fragrances so it's different and and no i have a honestly i have such a diverse mix of fragrances that it would blow your mind i have a lot of florals i have a lot of spicy fragrances mm -hmm. i have a lot of fragrances that are uh, also catered towards women, but okay. at the same token, uh, I try not to see gender in fragrance. Yep. I try to make sure that the fragrance smells good. It smells good. And that's that. Right. Doesn't, doesn't <laughs> matter. If you like tuberose, you like tuberose. If right. you like, <laughs> you know, if you like gardenia, you like gardenia. That's it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I have, and, and I also have a decent amount of uh, jasmine based fragrances. <laughs> Because for women, one of my favorite fragrances um, is Alien okay. by Mugler. Oh, Mugler. okay, okay. Yeah, I love that smell on a woman. So I've found fragrances that smell like that that have a deeper, darker uh, essence to it, but it's, right. it's jasmine based. So, yeah. Now, where do you buy Talia Farrow's fragrances again? Uh, so, TaliaFarrow.com. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you go on his website. Again, if I were you all, I would go and follow him on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And if you look at his Instagram story, he gives you the 20% code off. So his fragrances are $50. You're getting them for 40 Okay. with the 20% off, you know, and then you just pay for the shipping. So you're getting these fragrances under $50 for 50ml. Okay. That's not bad. For EDP. That's not bad That's at all. That's great. Yeah. And it sounds like they, they last. They project, they last. The projectivity is there. The longevity is there. The sillage is there. It yeah. sounds like these fragrances that you guys are talking about tonight are, number one, they're not crazy expensive. Mm -hmm. You know, no. they're like three $400 bottles and stuff like that. Yeah. And number two, they're performing. Yeah. Right? Um, mm -hmm. The quality of the ingredients that the perfumers are using. And in case you guys don't know, we just happened to pick a whole bunch of black fragrances, black perfumers. <laughs> Some of them we don't even know, didn't know, as, as, and we're all learning, but it's really good stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm really excited. Yeah. And that, I would say that too about genre. Genre's quality to price ratio is mm -hmm. insane. Okay. Yeah. Like 30 mil is roughly maybe $35. So, yep. and, but again, he has a price list in the, um, once you join the, uh, Facebook group, he sends out like a Google doc. It's like a, a literal spreadsheet of what concentration, what fragrance, if they are inspired, what the inspiration is, what the price is, all of that mm -hmm. spec'd out. And it, it gets released when it's time for when ordering opens. And again, the price to the price to quality ratio is off the chart. Like I've, okay. I've not experienced the quality of fragrance at that level, mm -hmm. not costing at least 200 bucks. Right. So mm. it's well worth it. It's well yep. worth it. If I get through all of these samples, we'll, you know, <laughs> I'll have a list of must buys for sure. But like I've I've smelled two and um, those two are pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. So you messed up our orientation, Pam. Yeah. So it oh, looks I'm like you're, you're on the bottom right. So <laughs> you are up. up. Now, you gotta, now you gotta switch <laughs> up. Up. Boom. Is this? Uh, oh, wait, no, you got to you yeah, got to get above. Wait, 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 one more. One more. There you go. Oh, there, there, you go. go. <laughs> there you go. So now it's on you, Pam. Okay. So my, we are in number three, right? Mm -hmm. Or four? We're on number four. Y'all on number four? four. I'm only on number two. No, no, number three. I'm only on number two. Don't be trying. No, to, you said you're. I thought you said you're on one. Well, my my one coming up will be three. Yeah, mine's too. Okay. Okay, so Three you guys haven't done your number. Yeah, this one, this is round number three. Got it. Okay. Okay. 
So I have, I am nursing this because the bottle is $165.99. <laughs> I know what it is. Yes. This is Fiore by Maison de Darius. Yes. <laughs> Black Ninva, I think that's how you say his name. At a Ninva on Ninva. This guy, if I had a million dollars, Okay, and that's saying a lot because y'all know I like my money. Mm-hmm. If I had but you also to- love bougie fragrance and bougie makeup. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pam, you know what I'm going to say to you, right? What? You know I how I'm going to say I have it. <laughs> that's what you should change your channel name to. I have it. I have it fragrances. I have it fragrances. I have it. I got I I got a, a full bottle of it. Oh Change it to got that. Got the, got him. Got it. This guy. He is so talented. Mm-hmm. He is. For real, for real. He is so talented. The fragrance, all of the first group, I don't know about the second group that you've got, Chai, but this mm-hmm. the first group has fifty percent fragrance oil. Yep. I popped on one of Amina experiencing fragrances with Amina her channel. If you have not subscribed to her, please go over her t- to her channel and subscribe. She yep, is yep. excellent. Okay. Yeah, She's an awesome, excellent yep. reviewer. Has a really <laughs> weird note, right? Because she picks stuff I never heard of. Man, and she's going to like to underground crate cave for her. <laughs> the guys, Fiore OMG. 50% fragrance all in this fragrance. I pulled it up because I had to make sure that I was saying the notes correctly. Yeah. Yeah. But it's got honey in it and you smell it. It's got lily in it and you do smell it. It's got musk in there and you do smell it. It's got oud and you do smell it. The sandalwood and you do smell it and the ylang ylang and you do smell it. The funny thing is you smell all of that but you can't pick one out of the other yeah, yeah. You know, like yeah, it's yeah. not it's not polarizing like the scents aren't like five fingers flipping all over doing whatever they want to do it's mm-hmm. literally like a fist mm-hmm. in my opinion and it, it's like a fist that when you spray it on it's a punch of beautifulness on the skin mm-hmm. and it transports from different people it smells different on different other people but when you smell it you know what you're smelling yeah yeah you know you're smelling quality when you walk. I had this on. I want to say at first I was like, "Oh, it's a skin scent." I wore this to work, and I was at the office. I stand up starts at eight thirty, okay. And the lady to come clean, just like a house of Siash fragrance I wore. The lady came in the office after five. After I came from the gym, mm-hmm. <laughs> and she was talking about how my I smelled good. Mm-hmm. I had this on. You see, I only have a little bit left, <laughs> a little bit left, like maybe two sprays. And she said that it smells really good. So I told her, I said, the best thing to do is to buy his um, sample set. Mm -hmm. Because once you tell people how much fragrance costs, it's kind of, you know, they kind of. 169, I think. 169. Yeah, 165.99. Yeah, 165.99. Thank you. I forgot. It's good and it's worth it. It really is. It's not my number one, it's my number two. Okay? Hmm. Number one coming. Y'all know that. (laughs) <laughs> but this guys, it's beautiful floral scent on the skin. That lily, all of it, it's just such a well. This is what well blended fragrances is. When you go to the store, if you spend a hundred and something dollars and it don't smell similar to these fragrances we're talking about today, you need to just you know they got you. Yeah, they yeah. got you. Yeah. They got yeah. you with the packaging. They got you, <laughs> they got you with even even you know because some of those really expensive scents they they turn. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Fifty ml. Yes, Louis, Louis 50 ml. Got for one hundred and sixty-five ninety-nine, it lasts. It's beautiful. It does not change. It's well blended, and yep, he yep. is. For, I, I don't want to mean sound mean because I'm not trying to sound mean, but this man is nitpicky as all hell. Okay, <laughs> he's not putting nothing out Quality. there yep. unless it meets a certain standard. Yep. If it, it smells good to, and I've had long conversations with him, right? Yeah. yeah. If it smells a certain way. And you will be okay with it. He's not gonna be okay with it because yeah. he doesn't want you to be okay with his fragrances. Yeah. Mr. Darius wants to be blown away. Perhaps okay. the packaging is not the best, but at the end of the day, if you have a pretty bottle, I can't wear the packaging. Yeah. <laughs> right. But the fragrance is just in. Eh, you know, uh-huh. that's right. a problem. That's a yeah. problem. So if you can get your nose on these, I don't know if you're still doing these sample packs. I paid like thirty-five or forty dollars for a sample pack. Of, yes. um, I actually five, just talked to him today five. too. You are guys. 
I'm telling you. I don't care what anybody says. It's people say I don't think I've heard anybody says his stuff smells like anything, to be honest with you. No, it don't. No. The samples you sent me when I smelled it, they were completely just in their own little lane. Yeah. And they 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 are great, well blended, really? done spray. I believe they're X traits too. Yes, they are X traits. Yeah, they're X traits. Yeah. Y'all heard what I say about Maya and Enjoy walking through the airport with my Louis Vuitton, the real stuff, right? The, my Louis Vuitton luggage and stuff like that. And I'm taking mm -hmm. it on the plane because they're going to steal it if I put it under the plane. Right? Or tear up your straps like they did well, yeah, mine. You heard me talk about those, right? This right here, okay, now I got a better one. Mm -hmm. But this right here, you are not walking through the airport. The plane is parked outside waiting for you, your chauffeur, to drive up to you, okay? Mm -hmm. That's how yeah. I feel when I wear it. Okay. Okay. And that's Dore by Maison de Darius. Yep, very nice. For sure, for sure. We got Kia just stopped in the building. Hey, Kia. Hey, Kia. Yummy hey, 411. What up, Kia? Mm. We have somebody that asked, what's his website? I don't have it on hand right now. Maison, which is... one? Maison de Darius? I think so. Yeah. That's all it is. It's I yeah, Maison de Darius. Yeah. On... I follow him on, I followed him on Facebook. Uh, not Facebook. Uh, Instagram. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yep. What it's does Maison mean? Because I hear a lot of people use that in perfumery. House, basically. Or oh, made okay. by. Okay. Yeah. Found. Basically, it's, it's founded. Uh, loosely translated from French. I think it's founded. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, believe you, I believe you're right. Yeah. Awesome. I thought you had you to have guys, to be a Maison. You guys are on your third fragrance, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm on my third one, yeah. Okay. Who's on? It's so on I, me? I did my, yeah. Because I did my... Th I Technically, I did my third one. But I always have a couple that are, true, you know. <laughs> we know. We're going to change you. You're you no longer Shot Sense. You're no longer Jerry. You got it. <laughs> got that fragrance. Got them. <laughs> Welcome to Got That Fragrances. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go with 450 X Factor. I got the his and hers. Um, I actually like hers better. Okay. I believe this is something that he just formulated because I don't see much information on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's beautiful, musky, sweet, uh, airy. It's floral, but not in a get uh kind of way. It's just, it's a very, very chill, uh, sweet, floral, musky. And it's something that even though it's marketed for her, that I don't mind wearing. And that's mm -hmm. something that I've not, I haven't always been able to do. Okay. I know there are some guys out there that are that can easily put grab a woman's fragrance and they wear it and they have no problem. It was something that I struggled with. I smelled mm -hmm. this one. I was just like, I ain't got, I have no problems yep. putting this on at all. Uh, my wife, she loves it. Uh, it's very, it's very bright and dark at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, I smell like I get like a little bit of orange in this. Okay. Okay. Uh, just it's just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, and I picked that one up. As well as the men's, the men's, uh, the 450X factor, to me, to my nose, it smells like an elevated Burberry. Oh, okay. Which which one? The original Burberry? Yeah, the one that came. Let's see. The In the kind of oblongish bottle. It's like yeah. it's like a brownish juice. It was yellow yeah. juice. Yeah. 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 Brownish juice. Yeah. Yep. It smells like That's an elevated original. version of that. Like okay. if okay. that one was doing what it's supposed to be doing, th mm -hmm. th that's what it would smell like. <laughs> okay. I think they reformulated the, the original Burberry because they when did. I smelled it way back when, I was in love with it. When I recently acquired it, maybe three or so years ago, mm -hmm. it's become mm -hmm. so herbal, I don't care yeah. for it. It I, also I, has I, this old, uh, uh, what is it? It smells like an old box. <laughs> like they, they put like old box in, in the juice. It smells it does not smell like you said when it when it you know when, when Ludacris rapped about it, leaving the mic smelling like Burberry Cologne. Yeah. That it was lit was then. The old stuff, not exactly. New. So Yeah, it, and I act, I actually like it because I like it because it's subtle at the yeah. same time. Uh and right. I, every once in a while I may want to put some on that ain't doing too much. But yep. this to me smells like the unsubtle and more refined, well done version of that. Okay. Um, okay. I got it. I got it sprayed here because I ran us, out of room on my arm. Tell us who who is the perfumer and who is the house. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. It's from Sweet Fumes, and okay. I ended up picking this one up probably. I picked this one up recently, and okay. I, I had this is one of the ones that I didn't know that it was a black, uh, 
black owned. And I remember you mentioning it on your yeah. video, and I just completely forgot about it. Yeah, I just remember that you mentioned this, and I was like, oh yeah, he did mention. It. Let me go buy it. Bought <laughs> it, and I ended up picking up the one for her as well. Okay. And I was just like, it's a black owned, black owned yeah. perfumer, and I completely, <laughs> totally forgot about that. Oh wow. Yeah, he's a cool dude. His name is Govala. Um, I call him Walla for short. Um, okay. Really cool guy. Um, just he got he got this this fragrance thing. A okay. So <laughs> I haven't smelled the reformed one, but he uh, he and I chatted a, a bit ago, and he was like, uh -huh. "Yeah, the the very things you mentioned in your video, your experience, I fixed them." I was like, I, "Hey," <laughs> so it definitely sounds like it, it came uh, it came up because, like I said, the the thing I really liked about it is it was aquatic, but okay. It was it was an aquatic that wasn't common, you know what I mean. So, mm -hmm. um, I actually liked that. It just in my experience, it didn't project a whole lot, but it had longevity, yeah. which again, like I've, I've gotten to that place where you don't have to be a projection monster, you don't have to be a longevity monster. Right. I need you to smell good and do what you're supposed to do. That's and that's my right. only thing. Hey Marquita. Hey Marquita. And, and the one yeah. that you had sent me, the sample you sent me, when I smelled it, I was just like, it smelled good, but it mm -hmm. it smelled like kind of just clean, soapy. Mm -hmm. it, it smelled kind of just meh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. And but this one, not at all. This is okay. not the case at all. The notes for this is lemon, grapefruit, orange flower, cardamom, mint, tonka bean, pink pepper, cinnamon, and broxen, cedar wood, amber wood, vanilla, and musk. And it is done beautifully. I love this fragrance. Ah, <sighs> sweet good. fumes, 450 nice. X Factor. Yes. Him and her. So it's on you, my so me? Yes, yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm just kind of sticking in the same vein, y'all. I'm 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 not straying too far out of the zone. And we are gonna go right back to Motifo Factive. Okay. This one here is Mon Oasis. So we we'll check out Mon Oasis. I heard uh Robert mention it earlier. I think that's what he was asking. It's amazing. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. So I'm got it on my finger. Let's see. Yep, it's gonna be on there all night. <laughs> now off top, I'm getting like jasmine. I I usually do not care for the indolic style jasmine, but okay. so you mentioned that word that a lot of people throw out a lot indolic. in videos. Mm -hmm. Indolic. Yes. Can you share what that means? Okay, so to me, indolics are gonna be fragrances that have, um, in my experience, a little bit of pungency. Um, <laughs> I don't want to liken it to this because it's going to sound gross. But but think about like that kind of thick cloying scent Mothballs has. Mm -hmm. yep. So it's going to be like that type of aura, but not the Mothball scent. Okay. So it kind of has some hang to it. Like once it's out there, it's like, yeah, and it kind of yeah. hangs. So right. Indolics, are, um, they are kind of close to Animalics in a way, as okay. far as I experience. They're um, natural okay. uh, scents. So Indoles will be things... Um, that are naturally produced, kind of like pheromones. That's what okay. I liken them to. So, mm -hmm. you know, a pheromone is, is it has a very concentrated signature scent. That's what indols are. Okay. So, indolic jasmine is one that's going to be a little bit more pungent and um, it's stronger mm -hmm. than just your regular jasmine. Like, if it's just, has jazz, if it's just jasmine, you know jasmine. Says, but the indolic jasmine is, is amped up and it can be just a little... Indolic jasmine... Perhaps sounds like what you would smell if you were to attend. I don't know if you guys attend in um, Indian weddings. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, they they have a natural, not natural, but they use flowers and stuff yep. like that to make the um, the necklace for the bride and mm -hmm. the, and the husband and stuff like that. And you can smell that floral in the air. You mm -hmm. know, yeah. so I think it's, it's very realistic. It's, it smells like. Where fresh cut flowers will smell like if yes. you get like down to the pistol, like and smell yes. the flower itself. Yes. It's, it's mm. very this one's floral and earthy, but okay. something about it kind of reminds me of like a grooming product, like kind mm. of a pomade. And that's probably what I'm equating with mm. that thickness, that kind of yeah. hang it has to it. Mm -hmm. I like it though. Um, mm -hmm. all right, at this particular I moment, on the, specialist. yes. Yeah, hey, Savvy. Um, yeah. On the opening, off top right now, I cannot tell you if it'll be a full bottle. Yes, Cat Pee is an indol. <laughs> like, I think um, certain bodily fluids are indols as well, indolic. Okay. So, um, 
they they have that unmistakable scent. Like yeah. everybody knows mothballs when they smell mothballs. You cannot right. confuse yep. it for anything else. Right. Yep. That's what the characteristic of end dolls will be. Oh, but right okay. now, I'll say for uh, at this particular moment, I don't know if this will be a full bottle for me. I'm gonna. I'm. This is one I'm gonna have to really test and see. You're gonna have and, to work with that one. Yeah, I gotta work with this one. I don't hate it though. And okay. um, I'm trying to see when would be the best season to wear this. I don't hey, quite Cassie. know. I don't quite you know. Can, I'm, I'm you a... can wear it year round. I was okay. gonna say it's a uh, all of his all of his fragrances are are super strong. It's just yeah. the amount, you mm -hmm. know, maybe one to two sprays as okay. opposed to, you know, like the normal. We all do about five. Not me. <laughs> five I'm at the, at the least. Five. Five <laughs> at, at the least. least. <laughs> yeah, five at the least, and then you know, when nobody looks, it's about twenty. Yeah, I want to say it's like it's got some either beeswax or honey in here. I didn't. I purposely yep. didn't look up the notes. It does. I think it's. I believe it's beeswax. Okay. Boom. <laughs> I didn't look up the notes purposely because yeah. I wanted to give you guys a first impression because yes. um, I hadn't. I hadn't smelled these, and I, I definitely don't want to speak about them as if I know a lot about right. them and I don't have the experience yeah. with them. That's not a. Not so we've got some new family in the house. We what have up, family Sassy in the house. Hey, Sassy. Sassy hey, Sassy. JJ. We've got mm. Lindsay in the house. Hey, What's Lindsay. Up, Lindsay? What's up, Lindsay? Um, we've got Nina. I think I saw Nina earlier, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nina house. was in here the whole time. Got line. Red Lantern in the house. That's Frank. What's up, Frank? <laughs> and, of yeah. course, we I saw Yummy earlier. And I think yeah. we've got everyone. Yes. Thank you guys for joining us. We really appreciate you coming by. Always. So, so it's time to try number four. All right. So. Number four, you mentioned the house already. I think I'm doing this because you keep mentioning the house <laughs> and your favorite fragrances. So if I'm not mistaken, I believe I know what your favorite fragrance is from Me this house. Uh, Me? You, Pam. Yes. <laughs> so okay. this is from Maison de Darius, and this <laughs> is Valor. <laughs> So, Valor is caramel, amber, and oud. Mm -hmm. And this stuff, like, I don't even have to smell it from the right part. You see how yep. the sprayer is right here? Mm -hmm. I smell it from here. This fragrance is so gorgeous on yes. the end. So, gorgeous. all of his fragrances have oud in it. Mm -hmm. um, the bottle, so you were talking about the bottle. So, again... The bottle is just a black bottle, and then there's a sticker on it. Uh, unfortunately, I believe one of mine had a little bit of leakage. Uh, yeah. I talked to him about that. And unfortunately, with stock bottles, you get those issues, especially if you're not tightening them or anything like that. And again, he's doing all of this by hand. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but otherwise, this fragrance is very good. Very... Um, it's it's not overly sweet, so right. just like um, just like velour, you know, like velour clothes. The mm -hmm. the it, so it gives you the quality of feel. Uh -huh. It has this like beautiful feel to it when I when I smell it. Almost yes. you, you get like a it's is beautiful. It's yeah. sweet. It's perfect. Um, it's not overly sweet. It lasts about. I think I got about a good 12 hours. So normally yeah. when you get that long on a fragrance, you, you know, you stop counting. Yeah. Yeah. That one kind of reminds me of, um, it doesn't smell exactly like it, but it reminds yeah. me of Franck Olivier's uh, Amber, Amber Touch. Or... I think it's just um, Amber. Yeah. It reminds me of one of them. Yeah. It's not the same, but if I were to smell them side by side, I would think, one is either an extrait of another one or another level of one, etc. So yes. they put right. me in the mind frame of each other. Yeah. Can you bring up Nina? Right? Thank you. Uh, no, the oud smell is not prominent on this one. There are other ones where the oud smell is more prominent. So this one, definitely not. It's very smooth. Uh, Fiori is very smooth as well from what Pam was talking about. Mm -hmm. You get more of a floral and then honey. Mm -hmm. Is what you get from that one. There's one of them that's more um, sharp, more oud forward, and I believe that one is O. Piacer. Yeah, no, Piacer. Not Piacer. No, Piacer. Piacer is, Onori. Onori. Yeah, Onori. Yeah. Onori is, but Onori is a rose oud fragrance, and it's a very, very classy rose oud. Not like 
Um, so I have a decent amount of rose ouds, and some of them can be too oody, but his was actually done very well. So I'm telling you, if like I said, if I had a million dollars and they said you have one person to invest in, of course I'm going to say myself. But oh, <laughs> <of course. laughs> no, but if they said you had to invest, you know, like how you watch Shark Tank. Yep. Yeah. And I envision this young man going up there, giving his samples to these guys, right? For them mm -hmm. to, you know, like start a pop-up shop per se, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And in each major city, you know, for 12 months, you have a pop-up shop. Here on a military base, what you have is people have these little kiosks. Mm -hmm. When you go into the PX, the shopping area, people mm -hmm. have kiosks selling jewelry or whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. If he had the... Um, if he were able to travel to each military base and have a kiosk inside our PX, mm -hmm. his mm -hmm. stuff, you think it's sold out on the internet right now. Hmm. Yes. It's that good. His stuff, I have not met one person. Honor is the only scent that's a little bit too much for me. Mm -hmm. Everything mm -hmm. else I absolutely love. Everything yeah. else I absolutely love. I even thought about decanting the bottle and putting mm -hmm. it in a prettier bottle and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't want to waste none. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't get my finger in there to get. <laughs> you know, like how with Winter Michelle, you can scrape all the butter out the side of that butter jar. You can't do this with the bottle. So I was like, oh, no, it's going to stay in this bottle. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you believe when he first started, he was selling 30 mLs for $50? Yes. Missed that. Yeah. Yes. I missed it. <laughs> I, did, I didn't know who he was. I would have bought I them wish all. I knew him then because I would have bought yep. every single one of them. Yep. You know? uh, and the other thing too is like you have like um it's kind of like when we talk about when I first moved here maybe a year or so I, I said you know if it would be nice if all like the, the churches the pastors and stuff got together you know to feed the homeless and all that kind of stuff in cities you know in your mind you're thinking these things without people's egos of course mm -hmm, you know you right. think these things would happen it would be nice if you had like a, just like you have lawyers, have a group of lawyers, right? Or a group of, bar you know, I don't know what you call them. I call them, you know, lawyers mm -hmm. or, um, but you Lawyers. have a group of them. Yeah, <laughs> you, have, you have a group of them and they take cases or whatever. It would be nice if they could come together and yep. when somebody is lacking in, yep. they, they lift them up or they yep. put them in contact with somebody who can get them, yep. you know. Mm -hmm. Like if you have like a supply chain this, issues this, and this, I'm, I'm kind of killing it gorgeous. there. Okay. Yeah, like if you're still having supply chain issues and I'm killing it there, I'll yeah. help you. Or yes. if I'm having distribution issues, but you killing it there, you help me. Yeah. So yeah, like a collective or cooperative. Yes, that would yes, be dope. And cooperative. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But speaking of that, I look in decent said fifty bucks. Yes, and decent. I wish we I knew him it. then. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I wish I knew him then. And to be honest with you, what he does is I listened to him. He was on um. Mr. Perfume Cologne 76's channel. Mr. Cologne 76, yeah. Yes, he was on his channel and he talks about what he uses the money for. So when you buy something from him, I mean, a lot of times we're not talking about what House of Siage or what Tom Ford or what anybody's doing. When you buy from him, he mm -hmm. takes that money mm -hmm. and it automatically goes into sourcing in not a bottle. Yeah. Yep. And the other thing that he does that a lot of people don't really know or don't pay attention to is that he does, he waits, he has to wait till five people order something to, in order to create yeah. one, you know, for those five people. So if I ordered something, it will take a lot longer because yeah. he's not just making perfume just to sit in the fridge, yeah, you right. know? So it, it's mm. just kind of that thought process to go into. And he does a lot of work with his community. So it's not like he's in his little, you know, his his lab creating and, and just staying there creating and that's all he does. He mm -hmm. works with the homeless, he works with kids, he does a lot of things outside of his regular job and making perfume. Yeah. So he's very invested in his community. Yeah. I'm gonna get on that platform for a minute. No, <laughs> we, we that's what that's kinda what we kinda bring that's what we bring as uh, creatives, especially for individuals who have not come into contact with these brands. When you have a platform and you are working in the creative yeah. realm, especially if it's something that's working for you. I know yeah. for me, that's something that I try to do. Like my last couple of lives have been centered around either indie perfumers, black owned brands, black owned creatives, uh, 
LGBT creators, whomever, because those are the individuals in my experience who have not reached that acclaim. And right. if I have a listening ear and it's a good product, those that's the qualifier. If it's a legitimately good product and I've had I've had some type of success with it, I want to share that. So I, I think that's one of the things we are uh, tasked. Well, I feel that's one of the things I'm tasked to do as a creative is mm -hmm. to put other people in touch with other things that they've not heard about. And that's honestly right. how I started my channel with mm -hmm. Uncommon Sense because I wanted to talk about the things. I don't want to talk about all the events. I don't want right. to talk about all of the uh, Swavages, even though I like those fragrances. Mm -hmm. I want to challenge myself to find something either as good or not as heard about, but has a good quality. So, yeah. yes, I'm with it. Yes. Absolutely. And the funny thing about, you know, I remember um, it wasn't you. I think it was a couple of other um, content creators. When I first got my bottle, the leakage issue, and so I was really disappointed because I was expecting something like Roja Dub yeah. or, you know, that kind of packaging. Mm -hmm. And it yep. took, uh, my daughter wasn't even 18 yet. Mm -hmm. And my daughter, right? And I have never said this on an open platform like this, but my daughter, I was like, you know, I wasn't really happy. I was really upset because mm -hmm. I with my expectations. Mm -hmm. Yep. But when you are talking about somebody that puts blood and sweat, anybody that creates, whether yep. it's a YouTube video, whether it's makeup, whether it's clothing, when someone is creating, they don't just wake up in the morning, yawn, and poof, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's blood, sweat, and tears. Yes. So yep. when you are, when you are um, saying something negative about that person's company or mm -hmm. whatever the case is, it's mm -hmm. really the respectful thing to do, if I were, what I, what Pam does is I reach out mm -hmm. to that individual and then I, I, they'll get my wrath in terms of, you know, this is what I thought and this is any other, but I'm not disrespecting them by cussing them out. Nope. I'm not going on blast on the internet and saying their stuff is crap unless it truly is and they were nasty about it or they lied or, you know, like that. And I've yeah. never done that because I figured that's a waste of my energy to do all of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I just leave that alone. But with this gentleman, and I am, I am, I am gunning hard for this line because I want to see him succeed. Mm -hmm. I want to see yep. PM fragrances succeed because I know she does her stuff on Etsy. That's where you purchase her fragrances from. Mm -hmm. um, but those are the two that are when I see them. All I see is modest. I see them having a regular job. I see them coming home and then working the behinds to the bone, not sleeping. You know, I can envision all of that. Yes. Put into the, that's just kind of my mindset. Same mm -hmm. thing with, you know, with designer, like I'm coming, yeah. his clothes, it's, it's just, that's my, that's my, my, my no, y'all know I love my, my houses, y'all, you know, that, right? <laughs> I'm not playing with that, right? But this is on a different level. So what yeah. I was saying about my daughter, when she said, you know, you know, did you talk to him or whatever? I was like, no, I'm waiting for him to respond or whatever. Guess what? A big company would have blown me off. Mm -hmm. And yep. turned around, he responded, yep. and we talked for almost the entire day, okay? Mm -hmm. Back and forth and whatnot. And I'm like, you know what? There are big guys like Mr. Cologne 76 out there doing the thing, interviewing folks. There are folks yep. like Eva, uh, what's her last name? Uh, she's a YouTuber, Eva, Eva Monroe. Mm hmm you know, these are individuals, if we can get your stuff into those people's hands, mm -hmm. you know, but then again, we have folks like us, content creators, I'm not saying this is us, but mm -hmm. who, right. they want everything free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. And that's just not the way, these guys can't afford that. Yeah. We can yeah. afford that, right? So, especially the quality we're expecting. Mm -hmm. So I think... With us pushing and talking and as a collective, as content creators, whether we're huge, it doesn't matter your color. If you're talking mm -hmm. about smaller guys that are trying to come up to bring stuff to the table mm -hmm. um, so they can get the backing. Yeah. Rizan, uh, MFK wasn't what he is just like that. No. Right. So I'm saying like a designer, Mark Jacobs worked for about 10 different houses before mm -hmm. he became Mark Jacobs. He actually worked for Louis Vuitton before he branched his own line. Yeah. So, you know, it's just a mindset to get those guys. It'll take 10, 15 years, but they'll get there. But yeah. we have to support them. Definitely. You're yeah. saying and not support. I'm just saying. Yeah. Right. All right. Platform off. <laughs> yeah. we, we have a All question right. um, yes. Well, or, or, I guess this is a uh, solicitation uh, Vicky I'm not sure how to pronounce your name Vicky, Vicky. Vicky. Yeah. Okay. hey Vicky you say you love this live and your husband's birthday is next month and you, you want to get him a nice luxury cologne okay um, I think it would be great if we could all throw out a suggestion for Vicky okay sure alright go Mike you what you got uh, <laughs> what would you suggest oh let me think on it come back okay. to me 
Okay. No, um, I don't want to say I can't say mine because it's my next fragrance <laughs> to talk about. Okay. Well, so well, well let's put a pin in it because that'll be your suggestion. Yeah. All right. What would you think, Pam? I think "Sweet Taboo" by Chris Collins. Okay. It depends on what he likes. If he mm-hmm. if he likes um mm-hmm. sweet tobacco fragrance. Mm-hmm. I think that's for him. If he doesn't like a lot of heavy fragrances, I would suggest my Angie's line. Tobacco is a good one. Tropical is a good one. Le Fleur, if he likes florals, is a good one. But um, her fragrances are also clean. So, um, and then Fedora from the line. I talked about Fedora tonight from PM Fragrances. That's another nice one. Those are the fragrances because... To be quite honest with you, those fragrances are number one handmade. <laughs> so I think so. And then I would always suggest, if he doesn't mind presentation and just the juice, I would recommend anything from the house of Maison de Darius. Oh, Cafe, too, from uh, Savoir Fair. Mm-hmm. That was going to be my suggestion. No. <laughs> it's a Savoir Fair. I just found, uh, smelled, thanks to Mario Dawn's, um I can't remember the name of it, but when I tell you, he and I were talking about it, and I was saying, not to exclude anybody, but it, there are certain fragrances I've smelled that smell mm-hmm. like they were made for me. Somebody that <laughs> looked like me. And so, the Savoir Fair fragrance is one, you'd be like, that's one. Like, mm-hmm. to me, Yop is another one of those. That's that's oh. made for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I would definitely say a Savoir Faire uh, style fragrance. I've not seen what their presentation looks like for full bottles, but I like their presentation uh, for smaller bottles. Check I would out. also suggest... Check out um, my you... video. Okay. <laughs> okay. Again, I, I got to do some binge, and I, I will tell you that, because I've been... I go underground for a minute, and that's, that's when you... If you guys haven't seen me around or haven't uh, seen me on your video coming, you know I'm yeah. in creative mode, and that's my mode to really either pump out content or design, etc. I got to go underground for a bit. Another one I will suggest, video coming out on Monday, Marimetta Ooh. Moja. Okay. I actually it's, like that yeah. bottle. I like it, too. He actually... He does... Um, well, they, let's say. They do the 10 mils, and some of them are round... Mm-hmm. Hey Pat, mm-hmm. some of them are round, but I love the square one. The square one is my favorite. I would mm-hmm. suggest mm-hmm. Mirametta Moja one because it is a fragrance that I don't think many people will be able to right. just pick out. They'll be like, "Oh, right. you got on right. Moja." Right. It's one of those fragrances you have to get acquainted with it, yes. and then from that point forward, you know it when you smell it. Um, yeah. yeah. The f- presentation on it is uh, kind of the st- I'll say the stock bottles, square, mm-hmm. long neck. Um, but the juice inside of it is uncomparable. I think a hundred mil is going for maybe $75. Mm-hmm. And again, it'll be a fragrance that he will be hard pressed to smell on anybody else. So if you want to get him something exclusive, check out Marimetta's Moja. And I think, um, if I'm recall correctly, Marimetta does most of their business on Etsy. Okay. So we've got some new people in the house, guys. We've got perfumes with Pat here. Hey, Pat. What's up, Pat? Yes. We've hey. got, it's Crystal in here. Hey, so Crystal. I am obligated to do this because we are talking <laughs> about collective lifting each other up, right? Of so we've got a lot of YouTubers in here. Yeah. We've got Aries in here. It's a YouTuber. It's Crystal is a professional. She Crystal is a professional runway and print makeup artist. Yes. Okay. Nice. Boss babe. Okay. Yes. <laughs> now you also had Vicky J on here. I don't see her um, comment. But Vicky J is also a high end, and I mean high end because I got to put money away to buy stuff that you tell me to buy. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky J is a high end luxury makeup on uh, luxury skincare influencer. Okay. okay. Um, she also does um, Instagram. She also, her daughter, Nala, is a model. Mm-hmm. So you'll see pictures of her daughter as well on Instagram. Please make sure you go over to their channel and show them some love. Um, they are awesome, awesome, awesome individuals. And of course, we all know Perfumes with Pat. Mike mm-hmm. talked about her earlier. Awesome sweet, channel. sweet spirit. Love yes, lady. yes. We've also got the Legal Eagle in the house. I yeah, know it's not Legal Eagle. That in the- sensualizes, <laughs> or sensualizes in here. Yep. Um, Barry. Barry, Barry that's right. Here. That's right. I know I saw him earlier. Yes. Yep. So, guys, show the love, please. Um, a lot of us are smaller YouTubers. And, or content creators, because that's, yeah. I think that's the new the term for us yeah. now. So, 
So we're small content creators, but we love taking care of each other. Okay. Yep. We have I want to pop up Barry on the screen so you guys can see yes, his screen and name. Julie, and he's yep. across the pond, mind you. He so is. He's he like is. Walking in the morning or something over there. <laughs> yeah. He has amazing content. And Barry is another individual who does a lot of reaching across. Um, yes. For a while, he had a segment. If I'm, if I'm probably not keeping up with it the most, but he has a segment where he will highlight four newer content creators and give them a platform within his platform. Right. So I think that's a one of the dopest things that I've actually seen. And that's what a lot of us do in uh, mm-hmm. content creation. So shout out mm-hmm. to Barry for that. Um, yep. I saw okay. somebody else too. Uh, I got to find him again, but yeah. Now the other thing is yeah. that some of them have Instagram. So even if you follow them on YouTube, please go over to the Instagram, please, please, mm-hmm. please. Yep. And uh, um, follow them on Instagram and check out their stories and stuff like that. Um, the, Mr. Cologne 76 is actually from Trinidad as well. Yep. And um, one of the things I got, like I start watching his, he has live shows mm-hmm. and what he yep. does is he, he actually interviewed Zerja, mm-hmm. uh, one of the guys from Zerja. And tomorrow he is interviewing Maya Enjai. All right. Okay. Nice. So please go over and show them some love. We also have Yummy Four One One. She's also an Instagram, Instagram, and on YouTuber content yep. creator. I am Jay yep. Holloway. Also does lux- luxury brand items and yep. skincare. And although he talked bad about Angel Share, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know we have a lot of content creators, and he's showing us love. So we need to push the love and show Always. them love. There's Definitely. there's space for everyone on this mm-hmm. platform. Indeed. Yes. Yeah. And, and the, this is this. the fragrance I didn't have correctly is uh, Soul Cafe by Savoir Faire. Thanks, D'Angelo. Well, since okay. you mentioned that, <laughs> my turn. Bam! Bam! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this came in the mail. <laughs> and when I purchased this fragrance, it was all that was left. Okay. <laughs> you know, when you go to the bargain basement sale or something like that, it's all that's left. And let me tell you, it wasn't all that was left. It actually popped back on and I got it. You know how you do the notification or whatever? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it popped up on my phone. I'm in a meeting. <laughs> like, I got to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know you were digging. I got to use the bathroom, you know? And I went out there and I placed my order because it's all that they had, not the full bottles left. That's when you know you were addicted yep. to fragrance. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go to the bathroom. Right there. <laughs> This thing is so, so pretty. Yeah, and it's, so, it's it's so pretty, but it's not like, oh my God, that's a really pretty. But when you put it on, you have to spend time with it. You have to think about it. And it's a sexy, sexy fragrance. I have the um, card right here. I actually, you know, we're pumping up everybody, right? Nope. Mm-hmm. But what I really like, I love, look at this card. Right? Oh. This is the card that comes with it. And then mm-hmm. in the back, he's got a young king right here, mm-hmm. right? With the, the um his motif, which is a mm-hmm. crown, right? And when I see that, I don't know what he means by the crown, but I know what it means to me. It means yeah. step into what your literally, you know, what your destiny, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And so he has gears, like he has clothes, sunglasses. And I'm learning, or I'm learning, but it, it, it pumps me up, as you can see. I'm truly mm-hmm. excited. So on the back here on the card, he has, you see, three fragrances. So I only have one so far, which is Soul Cafe. It has tobacco in it. It has bergamot in it. It has um, blood orange, black pepper patchouli. And then he labels this here, which I like. He says private musk blend, okay. which means that he uses several different musks to create a blend that is specific to his fragrance. So nobody can steal his stuff. Mm-hmm. So if they try to dupe it or inspired by, it's going to be hard to it's hard to get inspiration from something you don't know what you smell it. Exactly. Okay, that's how <laughs> well blended it is. So this is a ten milliliter bottle, and you don't need a lot. <laughs> mm-hmm. Two sprays, you know, back in the neck, on the chest. So maybe three sprays, and you'll be good for a few hours. All right. When I did my video, which I've already filmed, I haven't uploaded it because I think I have to redo the video. I was talking smack. <laughs> I'm being honest, right? Prove me wrong. I was like, yeah, I, said, I don't know. I sprayed it on. And yeah. And so that, you know, I went and I'm hanging out and whatnot, took a shower and everything. And, you know, I was like, what's that smell? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it was me. <laughs> right? 
So I have to redo the video because the video doesn't give justice because I did not give it. A, it was a very first impression and the impression wasn't a good one in terms of longevity because mm -hmm. I couldn't smell it. You know why I couldn't smell it? Because his special blend of musk or whatever, mm -hmm. the same way Maison Francis Kirk John with the Baccarat Rouge, I tell y'all, yeah. I can't smell that thing, but yep. everybody's complimenting me. Mm -hmm. This is this is the this is a great fragrance. O M G. Mm -hmm. And when you spray it, let me see. Let me put, I don't want to waste. <laughs> when you spray it, when it sits on your skin, mm -hmm. that oil, that perfume oil, beautiful, soft, sexy, doesn't have to project all over the place. Mm -hmm. It just smells. I don't know if they still say this anymore, but it just smells like you are a boss. You are comfortable mm -hmm. in your own skin. You don't mm -hmm. need anybody to tell you or give you approval. Mm -hmm. You know what you want, when you want it, how you want it. And mm -hmm. you are just here. And that's what I'm loving about pretty much almost everything I talked about tonight. But this Soul Cafe, child, <laughs> yep, it's good, good, as Sheree would say. <laughs> We had a few more people that popped in. Ma okay. Toussaint is another hey, content creator. Hey, Ma, on, thank you so very much for coming mm -hmm. by hanging with us. Man. And also, thank you for checking me out on my channel. Love you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you. Um, let's see who else popped in real quick. I know it's your turn, Mike, and I am going to get right on out of your way. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's it. All right. So, Pam went with PM uh, PM Fragrance earlier, earlier, Pink Mahogany, and I'm doing the same. Uh, Ooh, lovely like pack, yeah, lovely packaging. I'm gonna go ahead and just do, do a quick unboxing for you mm -hmm. guys. <laughs> Look at this print. Ooh, wow. I like that's nice print. I'm envisioning clothes. <laughs> <laughs> lovely print. So the the two fragrances I wanted to do just quickly, just do two. Um, was the Pas Encore mm -hmm. and the French Cuffs. Okay. Now the Pas Encore, that's really cotton candy, sweet, mm -hmm. uh, very high-pitched, sugary fragrance. Yes. And then the mm -hmm. French Cuffs is a very dense, smoky, uh, woody. Um, it was a, what, what was the note that he had, what she had for it? Charcoal. So she oh, had, yeah. it, was, it was a yes. very dense, heavy fragrance. So I combined those two and I layered those because to me, they smelled perfect for that okay. layering aspect. Um mm -hmm. uh, Love the packaging, love the presentation, all the attention to details. It was a handwritten letter yes. that she had sent with mine as well. A uh, card that came with it, a business card came with it as well. I like how everything smelled intentional. Everything didn't necessarily suit my fancy, mm -hmm. but I, I love how everything smelled very intentional. You can tell when somebody just care a little bit more about what they're doing. Yeah. Yes. And it smells mm -hmm. like that with these. When I combine those two, I get this very... Uh, smoky, woody, dense, very bold, but not yes. overpowering and just obnoxious. Yes. And I pair it in with that very sweet, that cotton candy, that charcoal, that cedar, mm -hmm. and it just comes together quite nicely. And it's a fragrance that both of them alone, I wouldn't wear, but together mm -hmm. I would. And that's a plus for me. Yeah. Because sometimes yeah. we'll put fragrances to the side because it's just like, man. Yes. And that's why I love layering. So I'll get mm -hmm. these, layer them up, and now I got a fragrance that I can proudly were and and share with somebody else and hopefully bring in some more sales for yeah yep. that particular yes. person and that's pink mahogany the lady name is this chevalier Cheva yes chevalier very lovely lady very friendly and got a good and actually, very intentional so she's actually in texas i want to say she's near um amina okay. okay okay yeah because when um when the the winter storm we just had uh -huh. mm -hmm. that's why stuff was um, so long, a lot of mm -hmm. folks yeah. so long to get to us and stuff. And so when when they're apologizing, I was like, you don't need to apologize. <laughs> it's not like mm -hmm. you, you caused the storm, you know. But guys, she she really. If you look on her Instagram page, please follow her on Instagram. Mm -hmm. She has pictures of her lab. I call them labs, okay. <laughs> and she she posts like you know the table sort of like around. It's nice. It's beautiful. It's almost like me walking into my closet <laughs> and staying there for a few hours or two or three days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's exciting to watch them in their element. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Love her stuff. Yeah. So, Mike, it's on you again. No, no, no. You did your fourth one, right? Yep. So it's now you on Common. All right. Again, I'm, I told you guys, I'm keeping to a theme, you know. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I'm going to switch on over to another one from genre, though. Okay. This one is called Voodoo. Okay. 
Okay. Ooh. Yes, and this is one of the more acclaimed uh, originals from his line. And just about everybody has talked about Voodoo. And again, I have my reservations, again, uh, of probably not covering it because everybody covered it. But, you know, here we are. It's new to me. And I'm certain um, if it's new to me, you guys probably have not either heard of or smelled it. So let's get into it. Sure. Voodoo, what we get? Bergamot. Bergamot or lemon. Mm-hmm. It's really crisp and fresh. Like, I take that back. Bergamot musk and grapefruit. Oh, wow. Bergamot musk and grapefruit. I and love grapefruit and fragrance, though. Any type of musk? Yeah. Why? If I had to guess, I would think this would be a white musk, because it's it's much lighter. Mm-hmm. But when I tell you this will be, this is going to be a full bottle for me. Mm-hmm. I like these types of fragrances. Fragrances that smell fresh, clean, sexy. Those are my. Those are the things I'm drawn to. So if I had to. Um, Think about a genre that I'm most attracted to. It'll be the more blue, aquatic, kind of citrusy yeah. types of fragrances. Those are the ones. Uh, think of think of Elysium um, okay. by Brosia. Mike put Elysium. me on to that from Alt. Uh, think of, let's see, if I think of uh, Jardin Exclusif, those okay. types of fragrances will be the ones that that get me uh, that get me excited. But this one here, Voodoo. Mm-hmm. It's entrancing. It, I think this was a perfect name for this fragrance. Um, I definitely want to come back to it and see what the dry down is like. But the opening alone, fresh, clean, sexy. It's a little woody. Mm-hmm. Again, you nobody will tell you no with this song. So I'm going to just tell you that. <laughs> if you I wear like the voodoo, you may get your way. <laughs> I like the fact that you said that you like the fresh, the clean, and some of the aquatics. Yeah. It's a lot of guys that's been like, oh, I'm tired of aquatics. I'm tired of it. And I, I mean, I can get, I get it because that's usually what they saddle us with. They usually saddle us with the sports sense, and I, yes, I totally absolutely. understand that. Which it 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 gets it gets annoying to be honest with you. But also too, it's kind of like that's how I am with vanillas because mm-hmm. vanilla is almost in every fragrance, and it's just like bring me something new. It can have vanilla in it. I'm not I'm not upset about it. But bring me something new in the vanilla category. Mm-hmm. I think so, that's what I like about Tiziana Terenzi's stuff, mm-hmm. and I've said this in several videos. He may they'd say, oh, this sounds like Creed Aventus or mm-hmm. this smells like this. I'm like, yeah, but it smells better. <laughs> uh-huh. That's what that's my experience with Tiziana Terenzi. That quality, yeah. I've not seen that type of quality in many other fragrances. The quality right. is on point. Yes. We've got Eve Spider Smells. Hey, Eve. Hey, Eve. She's Ooh. another content creator. Yes. Dope yeah. channel. Another yeah. content creator, my guys. Friend. Please, please, please make sure you go over to her channel awesome content awesome and subscribe to e. again mighty strong is too late i'm under i'm under the voodoo spell <laughs> and, and, and crystal listen I, i'm i'm just i'm just being honest chances are if if i'm like not just fresh to get into it chances are you guys probably haven't either but you may surprise me you know what i mean you definitely may surprise think, me you know between you amina chai and of course mike um for fragrances that are fragrance houses, number one, uh-huh. not the regular path, not uh-huh. the regular road. You know what I'm saying? And that's what if I binge, I got I got schoolwork to do, dudes. You know, and here <laughs> I am watching your videos and stuff like that, trying to catch up. Because the step, I'm telling you guys, if you want something different, if you want something different than the Tom Ford, which I'm down a slippery slope Me with too. Tom Ford right I now. I love Tom Ford. Huh? Yeah. I do. I, saw, I love you know, Tom. Ford. I love the House of Siage. I love Tom Ford. I love Tiziana Terenzi. But there are other perfumers out there, and yeah. I'm telling you, I am learning. We talk. Uh, Chai and I was talking last night about Dua. I'm mm-hmm. about to go order me some Dua. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you know? I, I already I have six already. Like, yeah. I think that's the most I have right behind Mancera at eleven. But Dua is quickly duplicating in my collection. I got so. that yeah. Angelic Elixir from them. That is gorgeous. Yeah. What is so, it, a dupa? Uh, the other thing that we're doing is, if you notice, Gorgeous. a lot of us are buying samples, so we're trying to be a little more thrifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a <laughs> budget <word>. conscious. Yeah, <laughs> we're trying I mean, to I'm be reckless. a little more thrifty with our spending. <laughs> a little bit more. Yeah. I was gonna say, not, not me. I'm reckless. <laughs> Mr. Goddard, look, Mr. Goddard put his debit card in the barrel and yeah. roll it, and just go pow. <laughs> pow. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. I've been, I've been I'm telling lucky. you guys. I um the other thing that you can do is uh if you if you're not subscribed, not just subscribe here and learning about these new fragrances, is go over to Facebook. Mm-hmm. There are some groups on Facebook. I just yes. got wind of um through uh, Jennifer Latifa and of mm-hmm. course through Anicia 
um, through Yvonne. You know, mm -hmm. I'm learning all of these because there are there is this community. Expansive. I want to get emotional. Mm -hmm. But when I say hugs in my mm -hmm. video, it's not some made up stuff just to say, oh, she cute. You know, mm -hmm. it's the real deal. Yeah. This community yep. is the real deal. So there are people out there, they're real uppity, right? About mm -hmm. their, you know, their notes or whatever the case yeah. is. That's like maybe the one percenters. Yeah. yeah. 99% of the folks is just they love perfumes mm -hmm. because it reminds of us, reminds us of periods in our lives. Yeah. It's just, we just love it, you yeah. know? Yeah. So, speaking of oh, love. It's supposed to be on me. You oh, yeah. me. <laughs> I, not my turn. <laughs> not your turn. <laughs> but I have, so, so technically I'm on five now. So, it's my fifth fragrance. But I'm going to do a, you know how I always like to talk about another fragrance as well. So this is my runner up, but I want to talk about Navitus Parfum Soir Exclusive. Mm -hmm. And this is Big Beer Business's push from Navitus Parfum. Okay. Of course, they're not black owned or anything like that, but they are a niche brand, uh, niche indie. Can you hear me? Okay. You okay yeah, it's a little bit of echo, but I can, I can hear you. Yeah, I'm noticing the echo too now. Um, not sure why I'm getting it though. But anyway, um, one second. Let me see. This has anything to do with it. Is that better? Yeah. I yeah. think so. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, so Suar Exclusive is it? It's a gorgeous fragrance that has. So I sprayed it on my hand while you all were talking, and I don't know if you saw me or not, but I closed my eyes and I, I almost did see that. like almost I was in a whole nother world. So you get it's it's sweet, smoky, and it's woody. Okay, I'm still getting the echo. Whatever. Um, Crystal says we, it's good to hear you twice. So <laughs> nice, got to hear you twice. <laughs> yep, yep, definitely great. Uh, this is absolutely amazing. Um, but this is my runner up. My last fragrance is Sean Crenshaw's Ovation oh. for men. Mm. This fragrance at at eighty five dollars for fifty ml. What? It's cardamom, tobacco, vetiver, cashmere wood, and cow. Calibrian bergamot. Mm -hmm. So okay. yeah. I sprayed it on my hand and all I'm getting is sexy. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> all I'm getting. So I closed my eyes again, rolled my eyes in the back of my head and forgot that I was on the live. That's how good yeah. this fragrance smells. So okay. this is like this is like power suit. Okay. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. Even I think even on a woman, it is gorgeous. It's yeah. it's beautiful. It has a sweetness, but it also is like woody. There's a little bit of tobacco in there. It's this thing is amazing. I love this. I actually I think I I did a video on this too. Mm -hmm. So okay. if you have a for men, is it is it very masculine leaning? So. Again, I try not to see masculine and feminine in fragrances, but to answer the question, it's a little bit more masculine leaning mm -hmm. because of the notes. Mm -hmm. okay. But I tell you, if I smell this on a woman, I would say, wow. Yep. Yeah. This is amazing. What is that? Paris 1920? I was I was answering a question in the chat. Yeah, they were oh, asking okay. what um what that uh what do what dua was that? Mm -hmm. oh. This is their ver this is their variation of uh Balder Freak. Is it Balder Freak by Barreto? Balder Freak by Barreto. Okay. Yeah. This stuff is so gorgeous, bro. Listen I'll, to me when I say this. I'm going to hop in and tell you guys this too. While we're talking about Balder Freak, Genre Parfums has one called Afro Retro. I have not smelled it yet, but it is going to be in an upcoming live of uh, we're going to do all of the genres. So, we got a dupe of that too. But I've heard great things about Balder Freak. Tara said, told me um she thinks it would be right up my alley, so I can I can only imagine what that. Alexandra like. has one too. Good night, Marilyn. Good night, right, Marilyn. Good Thank you for Alexandra. hanging with us. Yeah. See you later, Marilyn. Yeah. Dua and who else? Genre has one oh, called Afro okay. Retro. 
Alexandra does too. Okay. They got some yeah. really good refined stuff over at Alexandria. Yeah. They do. They have their original have... fragrances too, don't they? They do yeah. like inspired yeah. by as Yeah, well they got their own original, original brands. Yep. They do. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, I would definitely now, Pam, say... you can talk about chores. I was gonna say I thought I thought you were reading a message. Then you know sometimes you can get caught in a glance and it looked like I'm like, okay, he he texted it. And then I thought you got uh I thought you were frozen. And then I saw you slightly move side to side. I'm like, I don't know what's happening, but it's gotta be good. <laughs> I sprayed it on my hand. I said I wasn't gonna spray any fragrances on me. I sprayed a little bit. I was like, oh my god. I almost <laughs> ran out of my room and just like <laughs> I was like, oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> I can't tell y'all how good those fragrances, those two last fragrances smell. And even thank you, um, Chantel. Thank you. Putting them together. Thank you very much, Chantel. Yeah. But all right. All right. Go ahead, Pam. Yeah, it's on you, Pam. <laughs> uh huh. By Maison de Darius. I was messing that name up when I did that live recently. I was calling it Notorieta, no, not a the thing. She sent me a sample. Like tearing it up. Do you hear and me? And I was like, I was Special typing in, 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 in Mike's live. I was typing in phonetics. And he was still messing it up. He always do that. He always do that. You can, you can you spell it out completely. Like that, no, I, you can spell it out completely. It might going to be like, not... <laughs> <laughs> not a right fragrance is beautiful this has oud no, in no, it it's nice. with the H so it's oud and it's got amber, caramel, oud vanilla <laughs> and violet this mm -hmm. is so beautiful yeah yep, it, it is, is so beautiful I think that I know you know I think half the reason I was mad when my stuff was leaking because I was taking the, you know, the, the cotton that comes in the thing and mm -hmm. I was yeah. wiping it all in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I did the same thing. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, like... oh it's $100. <laughs> no, oh. You know. Uh... Guys, this thing is so, so beautiful. Again, 50% fragrance oil is in here. Zach is a genius. You hear me? Yeah. A genius. I talk about Paolo Terenzi being a genius. Mm -hmm. This young man has a gift. It's beautiful, beautiful blend. Every time I open, all I got to do is this. And it take you down. Yeah. Yep. Caramel. Nice. Okay. That vanilla so perfectly blended that you don't know if you're smelling the caramel or is it the vanilla? Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's a little bit of the woody oud. You're not sure. Yep. And so if you are wearing, I will say that if you are wearing clothing that stains you know that nope. stains easily mm -hmm. you don't want to spray this on your clothes yeah, so no. you want to spray this mixed with oh gosh this this with bourbon <laughs> vanilla by my girl erica that lotion it, it elevates half of my fragrances mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. this right here guys when i spray this on normally again i spray i, I just started spraying the back of my neck but what i would do is put this in the crook of my arm and let the oil run down right and then mm -hmm. i would wait and then i would put my clothes on and my clothes would smell like this mm -hmm. all day the next day you know that's how good this is now if you are wearing dark clothes that won't get like cotton or um even no not rayon or silk it will it will stain it because of the the texture right but if you're wearing some sort of cotton that has a little bit of stretch in it that mm -hmm. you know, doesn't show sweat. Anything that doesn't show sweat, mm -hmm. this is actually really good if you want to spray the clothes and you want to have it on all day wherever you go, everybody smell you. Mm -hmm. That's what you can do with this. But I, I take this with me when I'm going because the bottle is small. Mm -hmm. So I take it wherever I'm going. And when we were talking about the leakage, it's the neck right here. Yeah. Yep. Right? The same so problem. I can open yep. this up and like I said, decant it, but then I can't get my hand down in there to get all the rest of the goodness that's in this. So I just tighten it more. Huh? Just tighten it more. I did that. I just tightened it more. Yeah. And then uh, I was able to uh, stop it from leaking. Oh my God. Beautiful, beautiful. And this is a gourmand. It mm -hmm. smells gourmand. It smells like like food, but not like funky food that you get tired of or sweet food. It doesn't smell like a pie that you kind of get a headache from because you're yeah. smelling it too much. Or mm -hmm. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is my very favorite from his entire line. Yep. That's what D'Angelo said. And I, I completely perfect. agree. Out of that line uh, yep. of Honore, Piacere, uh, um, no, Torietta, and right. who's the, the other one? Velour. 
Notorietta is my favorite mm-hmm. out of those. Love it. Love yeah. it, love it, love it. Mike's on you. Yep. You. I think Yvonne Curtis was asking you to hold that bottle of the Dua up again so she could oh, see the, the label. Mm-hmm. Mike, the Dua? Oh, okay, hold on. Give me he was going. He was going through a thing, Yvonne Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, I don't is, know if Kirk Elliott has a sample. This pack. is a uh, Paris 1920. I love mm-hmm. the I love their graphics and their on their bottles. Yeah. It's so cool, so so cool to me. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is uh, their variation of Barreto uh, by the Freak, and mm-hmm. God, it's so it's a musky, fruity, floral. It's creamy. Uh, it's just it's just beautiful, and I I didn't know what to expect. I saw somebody review. Bought our freak. It was uh, my world of fragrance on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Oh, she is good. Yeah, I like her, and she's just she's just effortlessly gorgeous. And she reviewed mm-hmm. that fragrance, and so me, I wanted to sample it, but I wanted to sample it in a way where I have a, a decent amount of it. Mm-hmm. So me, I'll go to clone houses to do a sample, so I can yep. have a nice amount of it. And then if I love it, I would say if, well, if the real version smells anything like this or better, I'm in. So. Yep. That's what will help me make my big person. The longevity yeah. doesn't last on um, on that particular Byredo. I don't have a problem with other ones. Yeah. I have four Byredos myself, but Bada Freak does not last long. Uh, Africano, I think, is from Alexandria Fragrances, which I have. I would just have to look at it, but th- it lasts like yeah. ten plus hours. Yeah. That's exactly what Tara says. She said, "Be beware. It's it's not if you for if your skin is one that eats." So it's like a, up, it's like a lost cherry. Basically, lost. yeah, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, you lose it in about four to six hours. So, yeah. and that's yeah. that's never really been much of an issue for me. Uh, I know some people; it's a make and break <laughs> kind of thing or a deal breaker with them with longevity mm-hmm. and things like that. Yeah. But yeah. if I just love the fragrance, I could care less. As long as your price point ain't ridiculous. That's yeah. what it is. It's 250 But you can, of course, we all know you can get it on the gray market mm-hmm. around like the 175 Five-ish mark, mm-hmm. okay. and see, I feel honestly at the at the one twenty-five-ish. Well, let's be honest, at the one hundred plus mark, if we yeah. having longevity issues, mm-hmm. I, I have some pause with that. Yeah. Now it's different if it's fifty or sixty, and it ain't lasting too long. It's like okay, you know what I mean. But mm-hmm. like at two fifty for retail, I would I would be pissed. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's the one we talked about. The 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 Tom Ford in the white bottle. Soleil Blanc. Soleil Blanc. Yeah. That doesn't last very long. The lost che- and I love the smell. Mm-hmm. Lost cherry doesn't last very long, and I love the smell. So mm-hmm. I have those. But what I'm doing now is trying to figure out, and we were talking about layering, trying to figure out what's going to get it long to last longer. Yep. Yes, mm-hmm. Crystal, I need my fragrance to last a whole shift. Exactly. And- you got all my money already. Put it in the work. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's why I'm gunning so hard for these fragrances, yep. um, like Maya Angelou and Pink Mahogany, and do you know these 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 folks that are like putting in the work? That's what I say, putting in the work to ensure that what you're paying for, we're getting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So right. Kia just asked a question, um, Mike, about your fragrance that you had in your hand that you were showing up. Oh, the uh... Paris 1920. Yeah, the Paris 1920. What was the question? She said she was asking which one was it. Kia is another dupe, uh, not dupe, Dua lover. Uh, okay. Same thing as, um, I don't know if he's still in here or not. Uh, Chill Mode. He, he actually, oh, yeah. Chill Mode is the, the connect. He's the uh, he's the pusher oh. man from my okay. Dua connection. Because yep. okay. <laughs> he and I were chatting. He was like, Dua and Alexander, Alexandria, excuse me. Yep. He sent me both of those. I bought those from him. And he was like, I think you'd like these. Give them a check out. And so okay. um, he introduced me. To those, and uh, I'm glad he did because they definitely have great quality. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. great quality. So, thank you, Pusha Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for my last one, I'm gonna let me know if you guys can see this screen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, Rose Gold Fragrances. This is their uh, their fragrance called First Kiss. They're That's still up and coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, his name is Rose Gold Poppy, I believe, on Instagram. And this one is uh, it's like nostalgia, first kiss. Mm-hmm. This has a classic fragrance in it as the base. So he uses Egyptian musk as the base for the fragrance. Okay. Egyptian Another. musk is just a beautiful. I love Egyptian musk. It's quintessential for 
Chicago. <laughs> yeah. I have man. I have three variations of. I have the Egyptian four. I'm sorry. I have Egyptian musk. Uh -huh. Green Egyptian musk, yeah. red Egyptian musk, and then I have the Egyptian musk Supra, which oh, basically wow. looks like motor oil. When you turn it upside down, that little bead of air in it just rises super, uh, super slow. slow. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow! I, I love I love Egyptian musk because it's one of those scents that you can put a lot of it on, and it's not going to bother anybody. It's no. going to yeah. everybody's going to love it every time. I'll put that fragrance on. It's one of the fragrances that I get the most yep. reactions, compliments, all of that. Oh, wow. um, this one he combined uh, orange flower. It was a, I think it was an orange blossom and lang lang, mm -hmm. and it was something else he combined with that Egyptian musk base, and it's just a smooth, uh, slightly sweet musky. There's a little bit of a medicinal value going on in here too. Mm -hmm. I can't put my finger on it, but it's very slight. It's not too much. It's not overpowering with uh with the medicinal value that he has added to it. Mm -hmm. Like it's an just, herb. It's Is it, it could it could be. I just can't place my finger on it, but something in it just goes slightly medicinal. Mm -hmm. But it's it's very chill. Very chill. For and me, very... I, with, with fragrances, uh my is anise that that it, it always makes it smell like medicine to me. Mm. That yeah. anise I know I get that kind of vibe from Noxos. And what, that's like my favorite fragrance. What were the notes in it again, Mike? Huh? What were the notes in it again? It was Lang Lang. Uh, let me see. Pull it up. There's a Lang Lang, uh, sweet orange, and that's all he has listed. Okay. okay. That's all you, he has listed. It, to my nose, things that come up medicinal are Artemisia. Artemisia comes up medicinal on my skin. Okay. Um, who else? It depends. Sometimes caraway will too. Oh, caraway seeds, yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. it, it really depends on how they blend it. Um, what else? Who else is medicinal? There is another um, herb that they use that it, um, it's when you when you're breastfeeding. It's um, for the milk. God darn it! That that they put in like for tea yeah, and the all lactation stuff. tea. Huh? Like, like the lactation, lactation tea. tea. Okay. Yes, there's an herb that they use. As you could have seeds and stuff like that. That's another one that gives a nice. It's like a um, it's medicinal, but because it has that vibe for the the breast milk and stuff like that, it's very calming. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Fat boy fragrance in the house. What's going Yo, on, man? <laughs> Thank you for coming by, bro. Oh, Sassy asks, "What's the website again, Mike?" All right, let me pull it up. This is the website. Uh, it is rosegoldfragrances.com. Right at the top, rosegoldfragrance.com, and uh, they have a few, few products. I think they got like five, four or five fragrances. Mm -hmm. First Love, First Kiss, Rose Gold Signature, and I believe they have another one for the fellas. Uh, Poppy Rose Gold Signature. Okay. Okay. Lindsay said Milk Thistle. Is that it? No, no, no. Fenugreek. Fenne Fenugreek. Ah, fenugreek. Yes, fenugreek, fenugreek is very medicinal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my but sister had me at one common, point. It's a common. It gives you a common vibe. Yeah, you know, picture um when you go to get a massage and your face is in the the little table thingy mm -hmm. with the hole, mm -hmm. and they put that thing up under you with the what do you call it? like a mister? Yep, right? the humidifier. Yes. Yep. When they but put look, that up under you and while you're getting a massage and stuff like that, you know how you, you always fall asleep? Mm -hmm. That's the kind of vibe whenever I get a fragrance in it that has any type of element of fenugreek in it, whether it's the seed or or the tea, because I've seen mm -hmm. stuff with the fenugreek tea added in there because they're trying to be, you know, shishi, you mm -hmm. know. I notice that those have like that when I when I sample stuff, it's like real like calming, you know, yeah. I like that. What I get with uh, medicinal, I smell a lot is uh, patchouli, and that's from Black Orchid. Mm -hmm. That that's not one of my favorite Tom Ford's, but yeah. once it calms down and stuff like that, it's it's calming. But initially, it's screechy mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, yeah. T we already talked about. You said Black Orchid. Yeah, yeah. Tough. Tough Ooh, fragrance. Tough, tough fragrance. <laughs> That's in my clutter video. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I got a Thanks, Latanya. Um, I'm 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 first and foremost just very thankful to be with a collective of individuals that one are passionate about fragrance and passionate about being creatives and know they stuff. So I'm yeah. very thankful to even be here. Thank you for joining us and actually taking a little bit something yeah. away from what we give. And this that 
That's what I love. That's what I live for. And uh, Louis V said, and maybe the cucumber melon, uh, that's medicinal, oh, or geranium. Geranium, okay. too, is another yes. one. And certain violets, when they mix certain, uh, the way they mix violet leaf sometimes, yes. it comes up just a little, um, when I say astringent-like, that's what I'm referring to, that, that really clean, kind of almost yes. uh, so detergenty type yes. of thing. Okay. Yeah. All well, right. guys, we are going. We're past our two hour mark, and we did. We everybody get to do their fourth. Uh, I, fra- no, fifth I, fragrance. Fifth. I, I'm on my fifth. This will be my okay. last one. Okay. Um, I'm all done. Yep, you all done, Mike? Yep. You all done too, Shasta? Yeah, we're yeah, almost all done. Yep. You done, Pam? Is it, I'm yep. the last one. Okay, yep. I'm gonna make it I'm quick. Just, I'm just this one again. We 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 15. not straying too far away from what I said we was gonna do. We back with Motifo Factor and all uh, Oswald Paré, and this is Voix de Okay. Okay. Voix de Okay. Mm-hmm. Fancy schmancy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's get a little spritz and see what it do. <laughs> this one kind of reminds me of like a chai tea. Yeah. That's that's what I get. It's something spicy slash peppery in here, which I actually like. I'm gonna off top say this is this would be for fall slash winter. Mm-hmm. Fall down sauce is, I get the smoky vibe. Okay. And uh, if I had to liken it into things, I'm sure people probably have smelled. I would say it's it's in the same lane as Timbuktu by Lotta and Parfumer. Not the same, but okay. they are same same idea. Okay. Um. This one, too, has something really deep and woody and resonous about it, along with the incense. And I'm, I want to say that's either cinnamon or something like that. Mm. It smells really good, though. Okay. This is like a comfort fragrance. I would cool weather, nice cow neck sweater, mm. voir d'enfant. I, yeah, I'm here for this. I will full bottle this. I will full bottle this right here. Mm. Yes. Because I like it the woodiness like that's the, in there. Uh, um, jacket. Mm-hmm. Patch, patch mm-hmm. elbow mm-hmm. jacket. Because you know that that nice, big, luxurious, comfortable scarf. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, it's that type of party. Yes. I, I dig this one. And again, this is Val de Ensemble. It's a eau de parfum concentration, mm-hmm. and it is motif olfactive. Mm. The perfume is Oswald Paré. So we've got Lindsay's asking a question about recommendation. Did you guys see that? Uh uh-uh. Nope. I missed it. Hold on one second. Oh, I see Here it. Here we go. You see it? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Off to law school. To, to get him a nice fragrance. He's 22 years old. Can I get a recommendation? Layton. Yep. I would... Uh, Parfum de Marley's Layton. That's mm-hmm. Mike's... I would say two of my go-to scents that I think of when I think of like professional settings slash um, office settings. I would say, if you can find it still, the original Prada Luna Rasa. And I don't recommend them often. Or Tom Ford's Great Vetiver, the Eau de Toilette, but it is discontinued, so you may have a hard time finding it. Those two, to me, are very seamless when it comes to working in professional settings. They have very clean, typical, but mm-hmm. not typical scents. They're fresh, clean, and very professional and crisp. Right. So I would say those. <laughs> yeah, I'm holding it up for you. <laughs> This is the eye roller, hey. y'all. This is the one that puts you in. This one that entrances Jerry. <laughs> this one, this one right here. This is the quintessential, quintessential office scent. Like if you are, if you are wearing a suit, if you want to command the room, this is the fragrance that you want to wear. Got it. Definitely. Which one is that? Yeah, we can't see it because the whatever the uh, reflection this is, is it's running off. Casino Royale's Fortune. So this is their variation of Baccarat Rouge 540 and Zerjov Noxos. Oh, I, I, depending on what setting he's going to, I will recommend this one as well. Uh, Sixty bucks for the thirty ml, but mm-hmm. this one is this is a uh, imperative to have. Yeah. What about you, Pam? Yeah. What would you suggest? I would suggest Renaissance Man by Chris Collins. Okay. That one is very classy. It is extremely smooth. Um, Yeah, it's sexy. This one is too. Hold on. 
Now, <laughs> it's, it's, it's sexy, but it's mm-hmm. not sexy as in I'm going to the club, mm-hmm. one million type of yeah, nothing like that. It is just classy. When you walk into a room, nobody knows what you are wearing. Mm-hmm. That's the one that when I gave my, I had my husband smell. Um, he was rushing out the door uh, this past weekend to head on to get on a flight. And I'm like, I need you to try these fragrances for me because I need to know which to buy. He's like, I don't want any fragrances. I told you I don't want any more fragrances. You know, <laughs> I've, I've got nine. I don't need any more. And <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> you, you cannot. You cannot be in relationship with a fraghead saying you have nine fragrances. It's impossible. Right. <laughs> so he took three samples with him, and one of them, the very first one that he immediately went to, was that one because okay. he's in court. And he wants to smell great, mm-hmm. but he doesn't want to smell like, you know, any type of picture. He just likes different scent smells. Yeah. But then he says, well, I'm a regular schmegular guy. It's just different. That one is really, really Renaissance man. It's very, very, very classy. Yeah. And it doesn't have an age. Like fragrance to me doesn't have an age for the yeah. most part. I hear mm-hmm. people talk about, oh, it smells like an old person, this and any other. No, yeah. that one is one of, I think that's one of the best offerings in his entire lineup. Sweet. Oh, Mont Blanc. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We have one question from Bilal Lucas. Hey, Bilal. Uh, what's a real good amber based okay. fragrance? Mine. He says, what's the one is that? This is by Frank Olivier, titled Amber. Okay. This is... I don't think I got it in here. Whew, man, it's just a <laughs> sweet, smoky, I don't know if you can hear me, sweet, smoky, resinous, amber, uh, slightly peppery, got some vanilla in there, if I'm not mistaken. This is, uh, you don't need a lot. Uh, very, very strong, but very smooth if you do it the right way. Fresh out the shower, one two three and that's probably almost too much mm-hmm. uh very very good fragrance by frank olivier I, I love the house i love what they create they make some good stuff and they really don't miss that much right what about it's you a good price point yes it is like under 40 bucks mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. what about you drain um i would say i don't see it off top right now um, but I would say Velvet Amber Oud by Rihanna. It's Ooh. a, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's a fragrance that I believe is their take. Rihanna fragrance is not Rihanna the singer. It's their take on what BR540 is. But mm. this one's like classic barbershop. Uh, it kind of smells like the Pomoir Club, man, that when you go to the barbershop, they dump it on the horsetail dust and dust you off with. It's just like that that final touch that has you clean fresh and sexy so i would say velvet amber oud by rihanna fragrances and they are a uae company okay what about you chai um either ombre extreme Ooh. by whom which is by uh uh aaron terrence hughes uh it's uh it is mm-hmm. very, very nice and ambery and musky. Um, has this longevity that's ridiculous. Um, I would probably say that one. I'm, I'm trying to sift through all of my fragrances in my head. I had one specifically, but that one just keeps jumping into my mind. So, yeah. yeah. I would say Amber Fever by uh, Mancera, too. I love That's that a good one. one. That's I a good one. one. My favorite Amber in my collection is Ambre Eccentrico by um, Giorgio Armani Privé. Mm-hmm. That is, if you like sweeter scents, that's the one that I would select. Um, across the board, if I want something Amber right off the bat, that, there's two of them. There is Maison Francis Kirk John's. Um, Rensoir. Grand Soir, which mm-hmm. is very, very, it's, it's sweet, but yeah. men or women wearing it, they get complimented. Mm-hmm. All the, yeah. I know I get compliments every single time I wear it. It's the one mm-hmm. perfume I know if I want a compliment, I, I put that on. It's such a smooth scent. Yeah. Yes, yeah. very, very smooth. And both men and women, when they, you could tell the genetics of the fragrances there, yeah. but because of our body composition, everybody's individually different, you know, it just smells to me, it just, Everybody has their own signature, their own DNA with it. Yep. But Ambre Eccentrico, I remember smelling that in Neiman Marcus. 
I sniffed my way all the way back to Colleen <laughs> from Austin, driving from uh, Colleen back here to Oklahoma. That's a f- almost a five hour drive. And I couldn't wait to open that bag mm-hmm. to sniff at it again. You know, the little <laughs> itty bitty sample that they give you. Mm-hmm. I really, really enjoy that fragrance a lot. Um, I think that's one of the best offerings from the Privé line from Giorgio Armani. Yeah. Sweet. Very cool. So, guys, we are right at 9.29. Um, is there anything you guys want to say to the audience before we uh, head on out? Thank you uh, so much for always for checking us out. Thank you for, you know, all the comments, all of, you know, the fact that you all are just on our YouTube channels and, and the fact that you all that are out there that do YouTube channels. Like, I love your, co- we love your, yes. your content, content as well. You know, I, I definitely watch everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, I saw Making a Stink is in here. Oh, Chris I missed me. Yeah, the awesome, awesome content from everybody. Uh, yeah. I have some channels that I have to go and find as well. Yes. So I'm definitely subscribing like crazy. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm going to echo that sentiment. Um, I definitely want to thank each and every one of you guys, uh, content creators alike, everybody that popped into the chat tonight, everybody that showed up that didn't even comment. I'm going to thank you guys because without you, we would just be, we literally probably just be sitting here having this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I want to thank everybody who has been engaged, who has either liked a uh, liked a video, popped by, uh, showed up in a live, left a comment. Um, we technically cannot do this without you guys so i want to thank you all for being the people that you are and encouraging us to continue to do uh what we do louis v all right uh, and the same thing same here man listen i <laughs> i just be appreciating all of y'all i am very low level when it comes to the fragrance community so me being here with you guys uh, makes Dude, me you got like 1,000 subscribers. What you talking about? <laughs> you ain't no low level. <laughs> you ain't right. no low level. Okay, <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Go. But uh, I, listen, I, I appreciate the knowledge that you guys have. You guys are way more well versed. So I get to learn and kind of get a cheat sheet by rubbing elbows with you guys. Uh, Shy, Shent, Shy Sense is definitely nice to meet you, brother. Nice uh, Pam is too. always good. Uh, yeah. Talking with you and speaking with you on common, bro. You already know mm-hmm. family, and I appreciate everybody who came over and just spoke on my channel. Subscribe for sure, uh, and we, we, I'm gonna catch you guys soon, man. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, we we are really appreciative. Like the, the gentlemen have said, we are the lady and the gents. That's what I'm <laughs> pointing us to be. <laughs> hey. Right, and we really had a lot of fun. I I want to say I reached out to these guys, and without hesitation yep. there's uh you know i was just so <laughs> grateful you know my heart is full mm-hmm. because i was thinking about this and i have to say that tosh is the one she um she's a, one of my subscribers and when i say that i've got mighty strong i've got marilyn capehart yep. perfumes with pat tosh yep. unboxing with Teresa, and yep. this s i mean guys james love nail polish i love jen you know, as a matter of fact, she sent me three samples and I got three bottles to buy today. <laughs> <laughs> but Joanne, uh, Chris, yes. I mean, everyone, I can't call you out right now, but yeah. I am so sassy diva. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting us. Yes. We are indebted and are grateful for your support and we really appreciate you showing us love crystal thank you so much guys yeah. big youtubers came over here today <laughs> you know yeah. i'm just i'm so full thank yeah. you thank you thank you so very much and we will let you go have the rest of your friday evening appreciate yep. the love thank yeah. you so much and we'll see you on the next one we want, wait wait before we do that we want to oh. shout out pat we want to definitely shout out oh, pam i'm sorry uh uh-uh. we want to shout out pam we want to shout you out for bringing us together as a collective because yeah. this is something that we probably somebody said earlier you got the men up here we slow we can be a little slow to do things together collectively but you brought us all together very seamlessly and i'm thankful for that because i got a chance to interact with shot sense on a different level and again it's once the COVID lifts a little bit look i'm no stranger to pop it up on people ask lulu <laughs> ask, ask Mario. I, I I just got back from Atlanta because I was down there with my brother. He lives down there. And so I hit him up and was like, I'm going to be in town, yada, yada. Me and him shot something. Be on the lookout for that. If you guys have not checked out Mario Dones, check his channel out. But again, okay. it's uh, 
meeting one person who then connects you to other people who then connects you to another set of people. That's what I really love about the fragrance community. And, and Pam, I'm very thankful for you pulling us together. And I'm, I'm humbled that you thought of to include me in this collective. So uh, shout out to you, first and foremost, yeah. for being Thank the connect. Yeah. <laughs> I will say that because of Dr. Rose, she's not here. She's actually trying to make sure she gets other Haiti safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, because there's a lot going on down there right now. So mm -hmm. because of Dr. Rose, is how I met Uncommon. It's mm -hmm. how I met, of course, you know, Mike. And because of Lulu, I met Shy. Mm -hmm. And yep. so I really appreciate, again, these guys weren't able to come on here tonight, but they would have been. It could. Yep. So I really appreciate and love this community. We all do. And we love you guys so very much for hanging out with us. Yep. All right. So we'll Big see love. you on there. So look up our videos. Please watch our videos, you know, and um, comment. Yeah. And we love you and we appreciate you. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Bye. Yep. Till Bye next time. Let's, let's keep this addiction going. Till next time. You know. <laughs>